weed up from <clears throat> <up. clears throat> You, you don't want to be like that I Mulaney mean, that Mulaney skit where you got to be really careful what you say in case in case somebody has to go to court. Yeah, that's a fair point. Uh, yeah, yeah. My bad. A repair guy getting in the way of D and D. Why don't you kill him? The guy shows up dead a couple of days later. Uh, hmm, hmm. All right. Um, turned off my webcam recording locally. Everyone can see behind the scenes that I don't know what I'm doing here. In Pathfinder land. All right. I should be picking up everybody from Discord, though. There. No, I'm not. That's uh, fun. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure Red so, will tell me. So I guess know. just none of us, none of us can, can do this, uh, I'm apparently. I'm streaming. I'm going. It's, it's going. Oh, you got it? Yeah, you got it? Going. Okay. I'm a little disappointed that mine's not working again. It kind of, kind of sucks. Um, hmm. This session Why? Is what session are we on? I have no session. 31. I'm super off, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that's assuming I didn't accidentally double up on a number at any point. I'll mm. scroll through. Hmm. Oh, I have a, they're playing Helldivers. We're not playing Helldivers, we're playing Pathfinder. <laughs> Dang. I was confused. I was on there. Oh shit. Nope, I think we're moving to 32 because I have two 27s. Two 27s? Yeah, like I, I put session 20. I want to do my notes. I got session 20. Oh. Twice. Yep. Ah, oh, fuck. I, I mean, I could, I could check the YouTube. I hope that's right. Um, Let's see. My notes say it's session 32 today. Yeah, that's what that's what 32. I. 32, yep. yep. That's what we're on. 32. We might even play it tonight. I don't know. We'll we'll find out. Uh, let's see. Let me grab. Wow. Um, audio output capture. Add I mean, source. I, I'm sure it's fine. Like they they'll, they'll be able to deal. You know. Okay. If you're if you're okay with it, I'm okay with it. You know what? I have to be okay with it. So it's, uh... Damn. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we're, we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're doing this. Yeah. No, All no right. Let, let me know. Let me know when you're starting, and I'll. Oh, and I've, already, going. I've already started. I'm waiting for Dom to reply and say you found All right. one. I'll be like, I know Dom. I don't know how to fix it. <laughs> okay. I am recording locally, and it is picking up everybody in Discord. So we do have that as a backup. All right. Um, I just had to re re add Discord to Streamlabs. I love doing that over and over again, not remembering it in my settings. It's good, it's great. Um, so, uh, real fast then, uh, fact exploration question is, uh, buh, 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 buh. um, do you have a mentor or hero you aspire to be like? Uh, what have they taught you? That's not a quick one. That's like a really complicated one. Well, whatever. It's all randomly generated. Um, so ruminate on that. Does anybody want to give us a quick recap of what happened last week? I feel like a lot happened, but also not a lot happened, if I'm being honest. Uh, yeah. All right, we got 12 from Henry going once, going twice. Uh, all right, Henry Ironside, what happened last time? All right, so last time we stopped our combat with that supposed lich who Grom recalls knowledge and discovers that, no, it's just basically a specter, the specter of some kind of, uh, like, gaslighting hag male version, <laughs> which is pretty cool, honestly, and uh, we had a lot of fun listening to him tell us all the things that they were spreading misinformation about in the world, such as, apparently, uh, scorpions and, and frogs, because, you know, it makes sense, turtles and all, uh, all right. Anyways, uh, we decide that we're just going to gank the dude. <laughs> we, we, it's just the easiest way. Um, because he talked to Sweep Up. He made the one mistake that anyone could make in this campaign is interacting <laughs> with Sweep Up. Everybody died they talked to Sweep Up. I've noticed it's actually a trend. Um, <laughs> let me see. Uh, we get, let me see, what else do we got? Um... Yeah, 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 we, apparently there's a lore dump, oh, about, the, oh, Kadroxalus gave us a lore dump all about the Order of Bry and the history of it all and everything, and the 13th Ordinal, and how Kosawana could never do the thing, because clearly he was duped. Uh, we don't believe this, we are still pretty sure that Kosawana is smarter than this Droxalus fellow, it's going to cause problems. Then we murder him, because, uh, talking to Sweet Pup. 
Um, mm. mm -hmm. Yep. We then continue on, and uh, we find, uh, you know, some kind of hexagonal prism-sided co corridor and whatnot. Uh, with a bunch of pyramids and everything. We follow it around, see a giant, you know, see the room that we're looking for, some hemispherical thing. We're trying to find secret passages to get in. We find a couple of them. One extremely dangerous, so tunnels and narrow and horror, and another one that leads to a secret door with some kind of, like, former bright zombies. Uh, we are fighting them. Jericho turned into a tree. The most yeah. important right. part. <laughs> I'm having a blast over here. <laughs> I also want to point out that the room with the hemisphere of courts was so difficult for like everyone to understand that I, I tried to feed it into like an AI robot and the AI robot could not for the light. It was like, here's another badass like drug tripping album cover. And I'm like, cool, but that's not the room that I described to you. Well, the official art for the room also doesn't look anything like the room is supposed to look. Uh, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Right? I thought it, I thought it was like, like Saturn cut in half. Yeah, like, it, exactly. I, I, What I drew for you guys is about as accurate as you're going to get. Um, when I, like, it, is it, that supposed to be inside the orb? Um, I don't think so. It's just yeah. it's very spherical is all, compared to the room yeah. that was very... Not so right, little. but but look, it has these kind of like hexagonal things on it. It's really weird. Um, but then your room was like this, right? With like the, you know, the the pyramid shaped room. That's that's what the room looks like. See that? That's what it's supposed to look like. Yeah. That's so when what you I got, imagine. yeah, when you guys came down the hallway, you're like, oh, what's this? And then you wandered around. And then you left, and then right around there was the secret panel. Yeah, it's the top half of a D10 with a half of a marble. Yeah. How hard is that to draw, guys? I mean, even the I even mean, the official I... artist for the adventure couldn't couldn't make it happen. I, I'm I just, think personally, mm. it's misinformation, um, and we can only oh jeez, <laughs> so. Fair. All right. In that case, we are. Um, we were ready for this. I will say this, though. They did have a lovely picture of the outside of the Cradle of Courts that I feel like I was remiss in not showing you guys. And I don't feel like the map for the adventure really sold, like, that this is how funky it looks on, from the outside. Like, you guys, you guys are like, are we there? I would say yes. Like, if I saw that, I'd be like, hmm, have we reached the Cradle of Courts? I'm going to say yes. Agreed. Right? I just feel like maybe the artist for the adventure didn't read the adventure. Um, just saying. Or, or so, they were just giving us some information that then changed. Uh, oh, right. that's 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 fair. That's fair. Yeah. All right. Let's get to it then. Um, Our question of the week. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, yes. Question of the week. Sorry. Uh, does anybody want to answer the question of the week? Who is uh, your mentor or hero that you aspire to be like? Uh, what have they taught you? If you want to answer this question for a D3, uh, go ahead and throw a D20 in the chat. Here, I'll do it again. Oh, shoot. Dude, I don't have a mentor or nothing. I'm just like... I'll pass it to Kelly, because I took the thing. It's fine. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right, you're going to pass it to Kelly? All right, Kelly. Who is your mentor? What, what do they do? Uh, my mentor was actually my former partner when I was part of the uh, the uh, sheriff's department of Alkenstar. Oh. Hmm. Okay. He was kind of my he, he was took me under I was apprenticed under him as far as learning the ropes. But he was one of the few uh, good lawmen still in town. Hmm. And part of that uncompromising personality is why he got, um, he had an accident happen, as was mentioned mm. earlier. The accident, yes. Similar to the accident that took out uh, someone's brother. I was going to say Henry's brother for that, <laughs> with the exact yeah. answer Stone just gave. <laughs> so, perfect. Dang. Yep. All right, all right. So, yep. Let... so as opposed to... Uh, 
I refuse to kind of play their game, but instead of dying, I just, um, or instead of letting them get to me and cause an accident, I left and became a bounty hunter instead. I see. All right, fair enough. Um, you may ask the same question of any NPC that you've met previously in the campaign. Um, let's see, if I want to cause intergroup strife, I could ask who Sweep Up's mentor is. Oh, no. Oh, sw oh <laughs> Sweep man. Up's mentor? That's an easy one. Uh, Grom. Grom is Sweep Up's uh, mentor and who he wants to aspire to be. He, he thought... He thought it was Kosawana, but Kosawana is not very nice to him, it turns out. He's but Grom is, Grom is always nice to him, and always trying to look out for him, and always giving him good advice. He would do anything Grom asks, and trust Grom implicitly. Mm -hmm. All right. Better not betray that trust. <laughs> That's a lot of pressure there. All right. I almost did when I was mind control there. I imagine. Uh, no, I know. I would have messed that kid up for life. Um, all right. Let's head back inside the cradle of courts. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Activate. Oh, it looks like we're still having a bit of a tussle, you might say. I mean, some of us are. Oh, is the fight over? Is that... that? No, you're a tree. Oh, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> All can right, you, uh, let me see. Can you drop a camera over there? I think I can do it, actually. There we go. All right. As soon as they become streamers, they want cameramen. They want all they want all that stuff. Listen, they want I understand. When I, when, I watch, <laughs> when I watch your games, I'm like, man, I wish I had a cameraman over there. And I'm like, damn, I wish I could see what's happening. Listen, listen. We're not all red, okay? We're not all red, Cobalt <laughs> Gaming, okay? Some of us put together furniture when they're supposed to be streaming the game, okay? Like, I, I've heard. I've heard. I don't know if that's true. But anyways, um, let's see. <laughs> We're on some musics here in the background. All right, wonderful. Okay. Um, we should have left a note for ourselves last week because we are very professional players. Ha! <laughs> there are no notes. Excellent. We're just at the start of the round. Jared is uh, free, and we're fighting these creatures. And you can all change shape. And we can all change shape. Yep. Huh. Okay. Where did I write those notes down then? I thought I usually write them in game. All right. Um. So top of the rounds, going into round four. Uh, Jet Re is up. I know how to play Jet Re. You shoot guns. So Jet's going to move forward. He doesn't see anyone to shoot with his guns. He's going to keep moving with his very good movement speed. He still doesn't see anyone to shoot with his guns. He's going to move to here. Still doesn't see anyone to shoot with his guns. He's going to shout at Henry and Grom. He's going to say, there's no one to shoot with my guns. There is up here. Oh, okay. It's going to move to here. All right. Mm, he says, uh, it's pretty dark in there. Can't see him. Not going down that hallway. Uh, I'll make sure my guns are loaded. That's my turn. Henry, you're up. Oh, all right. I can it's only... dark. Yeah, it's dark right. in the hallway. I can only barely see this individual. <laughs> this is the smallest this fragment is, of a token. Is, 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 he has a ample buttocks. Uh, so you just see. I don't even know how that works. Like, I've never been in a situation where there's just like darkness right in front of me, but somehow there's light beyond the darkness. I don't think that's actually how it, like darkness works, but maybe. Um, can there be a pocket of darkness between two light sources? I guess there could, right? Like, that's... Uh, ask every warlock of his edition. Okay. I guess that's how light Yeah, right? <laughs> All right. Just roll up anyways. You move into the darkness. This guy's going to have concealment then. All right. So I attempt to attack, and I may miss him regardless of my roll, right? C correct. Correct. All right. Which what, was my... What? Which was, like, the second half of my Saturday morning, actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna roll a, a 
die before I even make the attack? Is well, it'll just do it if you target. Oh. It's so smart, man. Just oh, target. Right. Yeah, just target. It'll do all the work for you. It'll make you a sandwich. Hmm. This ain't this ain't roll twenty. So you successfully critically missed. Oh, awesome! All right. Well, I'm just gonna keep going. All right. I, whatever. Uh, let me see. I had to move, so this is my last action. And it's then... the very beginning of the session. Too early to be wasting uh, rerolls on trash mobs. I got you. Yeah. Okay, 16 points of damage. It takes all of it. All right, and that's that's Henry's turn. He just right. rolled up and started slamming. <laughs> just slamming the darkness. Um, Kelly, McLean, you're up. All right. Do you need a cameraman so you can see Kelly McLean? I guess. Just... Oh no, I'm, I'm I'm asking the I'm asking the streamer. Sorry. Yes, I'm no, I... I'm moving the gun around. I'm, I'm moving no, you... the gun. I'm moving the bow around. Sorry. Okay. Okay. You don't have you don't have to. I mean, no, where Mel Kelly McLean is actually. Where is he? Oh, he's down there. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, don't mind the camera crew. Just just. It's all just act natural. This is reality TV. There's no, there's no camera. It's just a barrel. Why is it so dark? All right. Um, is there is it some sort of magical darkness effect going on right now? Uh, it's not magical. I mean, there's it's just dark. Because uh, I guess the light from my halo isn't working anymore oh let me see um because the these are light sources over here here your your halo is what 20 2040 uh yeah all right i turned it on for you manually like a savage well, right. it's just the, the map is still very dark like yeah there's no lights and le i mean there are lights and then there aren't lights yeah right okay. so there, there's no actually like light effects on my uh my screen. Okay, oh, never mind. I'll keep going. You can't see anything. You may have to reload them. I can barely see like the light. Yeah, let me yeah you, you, you are. Reload. Your character is surrounded by magical lights right now. Like you should definitely be able to see. Yeah, there was no magical lights around my guy. So let me okay refresh that right now. Yeah, you know something's up when I try to when I hit refresh and it says, "Oh, you have to log back in." Hmm. We took so long to get started. It, it I apologize. Kicked, it, kicked, it kicked you out. That's that's what happened. That's all right. I, if you want, I could just delay for you, and we can see what the tree's doing. Yeah, I'll delay. All right, mm -hmm. tree. What are you doing? I'm currently googling how to photosynthesize underground. Okay. No all right, Kelly. Back to you. <laughs> <laughs> you may want to go because since you're off on your own, I am going to kill you with the uh, the claws of time. So. Yeah. Um... Yeah. It's still I can't even see what I'm doing. All right, all right. So let me let me theater the mind it for you. You're off on your own. Where the, the claws of time will kill you. Your allies are further in the dungeon. Do would you like to stride twice to get to your allies? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay, as long that as was... nobody's being left behind. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Look at that theater of the mind. Oh, there's right. light. Okay, cool. All right. You got a halo. Maybe you should come up a little more if you got the movement. <laughs> he doesn't the movement. Here you go. Wow. There we go. As you illuminate that guy, everybody can see him. He's no longer concealed. Uh, and you have one Pac-Man left. All right. And we will... do um, one of our few shots with our gun left. Okay. Oh, you'll you're target this running aloof. low on bullets. like hearing that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All, All right, right, that's gonna hit. Give me some damage, Henry. Just normal things. Someone puts a gun literally right next to your head and fires. Uh, the tinnitus is uh, acting up again. All right, as the creature is bloodied, uh, nothing happens because this has been my Crystal Star game. Um, and that is your three Pac-Mans. All right. As you teleport away, the claws of time snaps its little claws like, ah, oh, man. Um, and then it tries to kill the B team and they show him it's their badge. And he says, ah, oh, man. And then that's all he's going to do this turn. All right. 
Because, I mean, why would he attack a tree? That's no fun. Um... Ooh, you know what he does do? Actually, he's got somebody right here he could attack. Uh, he is gonna, uh, appear... here. And we'll attack this, uh, Erexon. There we go. Oh, critically. With an 8. I would love to get critical hits on an 8 more often. That sounds really fun. Um, 40 points of damage. Alright, so, um, absolutely tears into this, uh, Bryite Horexon, and then, like the a-hole it is, it's going to not cause a wild surge as it disappears. Alright, now... Aloof, uh, Herexen. Um, it's like, man, I'm hurting. I'm hurting real bad. Uh, it is going to step back, because there's a fighter there. Doesn't like that. And then, now he doesn't have enough to do his AoE heal, though. Ugh. Ugh. A system where spellcasters can't just do whatever they want? I'm still adjusting. I just I don't know what to do. Um, I guess it will... I will just try to harm you. Here we go. Here's a two Pac-Man harm for Henry. Uh, let's see. I'd like this Henry to team up with Witchlight Henry at some point in like a one shot. That'd be amazing. All right. You take no damage as your fortitude is just too great uh, for the magic that this guy is throwing out. And... Uh, unfortunately, he does, with the damage to these ley lines, uh, cause a wild surge. I think we were all just waiting for that at this point. Just waiting for it. Um, let's see. <laughs> I keep meaning to put it on the table. When I was prepping this game... I was like, I've been very clear how dangerous these are, so I don't think we're going to need a table in Foundry because we shouldn't have that many wild surges. <laughs> I I never stop rolling them for the other group. They honestly are just like, we don't care. Like, burn down the world. It's fine. Um, Let's see. This is a secret one. I don't know if I'm allowed to tell you what happens here. Oh... Oh, <laughs> spicy as hell. Okay. All right, cool. Everything's fine. <laughs> Pass turn. All right, this Bryant Horexon is confused. It came here looking for aid. There is no one to help it. Now there's a tree blocking the way back to its allies. Uh, it is going to, to wander off. All right. Uh, play passes to Grom. Does Grom know where Jericho is? Uh, I think somebody. Uh, Henry said Jericho's around the corner. <sighs> well, she'll protect me from that thing. Ah, uh, yes, but the joke's on you. It's actually not Jericho. There's just a really ugly old tree. What the? That there is Jericho's hat hanging from one of the branches of the tree. It looks like one of the spooky dead trees that's, like, bone white. I will shout for Jericho. Okay. The tree whistles. <laughs> <laughs> um, he doesn't know what's going on. He'll run back here. All right. Guys, Jericho's missing. I feel like I should I should make a terrain wall to represent like Jericho, right? I mean, does she have leaves? Like, well, you described yourself as being like dead, right? Like yeah, a dead so, tree. Yeah, so you can see past the tree. Okay. You know, just no leaves. Oh, yeah, oh that that's it, it, like yeah. But it says you're a large tree, so that means like your trunk, right? Okay, would fill well, up. Relax, I'm not that large. I got a good figure. I made a bonus. <laughs> you're supposed to take up two by two space. Oh, he's got one action left. He'll he'll shoot this zombie real quick. Okay. 
Here, Jerko, I'll I'll put you inside yourself. Thanks, man. There you go. <laughs> now you can like peek out of yourself at the world around you. I'm done. And you're done. All right, sounds good. Turn five. Jet Re says. So, is there a guy to shoot in there or not? Uh, there is. You want to delay, I can just kill him. Yeah, I'll just delay. Alright. <laughs> Henry will step. Wait, 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 I don't want to delay! Hold on. Because those guys make a harm spell when they die. So I'm gonna go back this way. Oh, you get inspiration. That is the most jet thing. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna stand right here on, on the bed. Hey. So there's even less places for that thing to get me. And then I'm gonna spend two Pac-Mans readying to shoot the thing if it tries to get me. Him. Past turn. Oh, actually, that's really useful. Alright, now I step up. And now I attack again. Oh, you definitely attack again. Why? Oh, I just rolled regular damage, my bad. Uh, there's like a reroll crit I, for it. So. I want that critical damage. Just click the critical button up above. Okay. I want that real damage. There we go. All right, well, here you go. You're going to have to just attack him again because it's going to try to reverse time so he doesn't take the critical hit. Uh, all right. So then will you go three for three? Oh, and... no. oh you Turn didn't. Me. Dang, son. Oh, then you do that baby damage? Come on now. All right, so he actually doesn't take 32 points of damage. Uh, instead, where was he at? Um... Braxton takes 32 points of damage. Oh, he did take 32. Okay. Uh, so instead, he takes... Uh... Eight. Okay. Alright. But you have one more Pac-Man, right? Yeah. But right. we have to see if he made... Oh! Wait! Hold on. Something happened, actually. <laughs> um, the fabric of reality becomes unstable. Um, when attacked... Um... <laughs> <laughs> this is actually even better than it making time go back. Listen to this shit. When attacked, the creature quickly stops its own position with that of another random uh, creature. Um, that creature may attempt a will save against the difficulty uh, set by this, um, this thing. So, you guys are level 6. That's up to 22 for this. Um, they will, uh, select Grom. <laughs> so, Grom, give me a DC 22, uh, or you're going to get crit for, uh, 32 points of damage instead of it. DC 22 what? A uh, will save. That's cool, I'm trained in that. Alright, let's see it. Bang. Oh, hell yeah. All right, so you guys don't switch places. In that case, it would take the crit, and then it would uh, make time go back, and then you know everything goes as normal. But now you guys know that for an undetermined amount of time, when um, you attack something, it could teleport something else in its place. Okay, that was the surge, and not an... Oh, wait, hold on, thing. hold on. If they successfully switch... Uh, the target must attempt a will save... Um, if they successfully switch with the target, the triggering tank is resolved against that creature's original target. Neither of the creature teleports if the target, um, critically succeeds at save. You have to critically succeed to prevent it? Turns will save the successfully switch places with the target, the triggering attack. Just letting the creature. Um. Oh. Well, that's dumb. You can only avoid if you critically save. Maybe it just gets split. Mm, I'm gonna say that it's really strong, so I don't think you need to critically succeed to to avoid it. I think a save is fine. Um, all right, so keep going. You have one more action. Oh, wait, wasn't that the okay? So. Well, that was your reaction, right, to stop the spell casting? Was the twenty six? Right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. We just paused because of everything. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to see if that if that random wild surge would actually have done something cool. Wow, I'm just rolling terrible tonight. All right. It's uh... okay. This is, this is a yard trash. No big deal. No big deal. Okay. All right. Play passes to Jericho the tree. Did you know a mature tree can absorb more than 48 pounds of carbon dioxide each year? Mm, mm, okay. That's crazy. You know, you know how heavy carbon dioxide is. That's, that's the, that shit floats, bro. That's crazy. Uh, Kelly, to you. All right. 
Uh, we are going to reload our gun. On action there. Uh, then we are going to. Sorry. To... No worries. We're going to try moving up. I mean, this thing is going to die on Henry's next turn. Like, because the time thing will catch back up with it. But in the meantime, though, it might have one last turn left in it. Maybe a good turn. <laughs> As you turn the corner, there's just a big white tree. And I will take a turn action to uh, <laughs> recall... Do investigation. Do an investigation roll. So okay. I can recognize that this is indeed. Sure. Um, this is a good test because there's been like four updates since Saturday morning when basic action macro was mostly broken. So let's see if you can give me a recall knowledge check. Right. Hey, it works again. All right. It it lists that you have like negative one to it, but it actually rolls in the chat. It wasn't working Saturday and everyone was panicking. Um, okay. So as you roll investigation on here, your gut instinct tells you that <laughs> there shouldn't be a tree in the middle of the dungeon. Um, but there's a lot of things that shouldn't happen in a wild magic zone. Is that tree Jericho? It do have a red cowboy hat and is bone white. Um, with that information, I'll leave the rest of the investigation to you. So, uh, guys, I, I think we might have a problem. Yeah, we lost Jericho. No, no, I think she's right here. Oh, we're in the middle of a fight. Of course <laughs> we're... Of course <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> no, no, she's a tree. I'm going to check up here past this guy on my turn. All right. Um, you hear around the corner, Kelly, uh, a Horexon, uh panting heavily, even though it's undead and it doesn't need to breathe. Uh, it sounds like it's running for its life, uh, filled with fear terror even though it's i guess undead and maybe not affected by no no this guy definitely is affected by emotions yeah okay so he's scared shitless uh you hear that horrible alien gurgling sound as the creature <laughs> misses him oh my goodness in frustration it's gonna stick around uh and and finish him off okay uh, this Bryant Horexon is very super duper dead. Alright, it's beautiful. Um, and that is the Claws of Time's turn. Grom, to you. Uh, that Brigitte Hexen we heard? Where yeah. We? Uh, pa there? it's, no, it's past Kelly. Oh, past Kelly? Yeah, down this way. Uh. And Grom, it broke your heart. In death, it cried out for Bry one last time. Oh, but as it died, it did have final blasphemy. Um, and so it is going to cast a three-action harm uh, that against the Claws of Time. So let me roll a Fortitude save. Oh, they failed! Oh my god! Okay! Um, man, this is what happens close to the time when you're that big of an asshole. Everybody in the dungeon want to hurt you. Uh, here we go. Oh, man, it takes five damage. And it's like, I don't want to play anymore. Uh, Grom, to you. I just imagine it has an attack these things so long it hits one it's like oh shit I forgot they explode Ow. yeah right <laughs> do I have to tumble through to move past the tree aren't you like a boneless goblin can you do you, you good at squeezing I do not have the feet that lets me squeeze extra mm, okay you can give me an acrobatics then to try to get through acrobatics here yeah you're gonna try to tumble tumble past this tree um, Jericho, 
What's your passive fort? 22? Oh, so, yeah. It's high, so. Yeah, so 21. You, you try to squeeze through, but this tree got a fat trunk. You know what I'm saying? Okay, P-H-A-T. Well, I think she's in there somewhere, so I'll try again. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and target there and do a... Yeah. Do what? Thing. Oh. Tumble through. Oh, you guys can see her inside the tree? Oh, man. Yep. The verisimilitude's been ruined. Nope. All right, so you're trying to wedge your sideways football head, Hey Arnold style head, like through, and it's just like you're just turning it, just not not getting through. That's my three actions. All right, fair enough. Top of the round, Jet Re. Uh, he calls around the corner. You got it, Henry. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna just ready to shoot. All right, the creature is up. Uh, the creature has one last turn before it all comes crashing down around it because delay consequence. Um, hmm. All right, it's going to can't really step into difficult terrain. There we go. Uh, that'll still put him in melee with you. You know what? It's just gonna it's gonna attack you with uh, what's it got? It's got a little hammer. There you go. I already used my reaction. Oh, you did. That's right. Okay. Okay. Then that case, it's gonna do a AOE heal, uh, or AOE harm. My bad. And you might you might be taking some heavy damage here. I'm just saying. Yeah. Can you make this DC 22 fort save? I don't know. Look at how no. much damage. Oh, okay. I guess I'll I guess I'll just take the damage. Oh man! All right, it will heal the damage, which is kind of silly because as soon as your turn comes up, it's going to take 32 points of damage. Oh wait, but the healing actually would put it high enough that it doesn't die from the 32 points of damage. But now it has to make the save against stun or prone. What does your weapon do? Prone. Prone. Okay. I don't think he's going to make this save. It's a fortitude. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it did. Okay, yeah, I mean, and that's 20, all right. Um, so it's your turn. All right, well, we're going to attack it. Okay. Here, just for fun. <laughs> <laughs> just going ham on it. All right, um, as it dies in Final Blasphemy, this is not a casting of harm. This is just a harm effect that happens. So you get one more of these washing over you on the way out. Uh, there we go. Oh my gosh. Damn. All this damage. Oh, oh max yeah. damage, too. Holy shit. <laughs> that was max damage. <laughs> it was! This is a level 3 creature. It's an elite level 2, if I'm being honest. And it is trying its best. <laughs> Listen, not every fight in Pathfinder could be extreme. Like, the designer I, said I it. With yeah, that. They said sometimes they have to be fights where people are like, oh, we could actually do shit. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. that apparently encourages you to keep playing. Uh, um, see weird. Abomination Vaults for the other type of Pathfinder you can uh, play. <laughs> I, I run it with six people, and they, they still... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, hmm. Okay, I guess that area will just wander up to see what people are doing now. All right, fair enough. Uh, uh, Jericho, what you up to? I got another fun tree fact for you. Uh, okay. Did you know that... <laughs> Sorry. Did you know that dendrochronology is the science of dating and studying the annual rings in trees? Yes. Oh. Okay, well, that was a fun Sorry, fact. Sorry, I'm not into plants. Don't okay. date them. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, I was going to say, I know a lot of, I know some people on the server that would definitely be dating uh, the anal rings of trees. Let me tell you. Uh, no, it's just context clues, like the length. Yeah. <laughs> There's chronology. I mean, it makes perfect sense. I know, I just... All right, Kelly, you're up. All right. We are going to try to uh, squeeze past the tree. Okay. Sure. Give me that Everybody acrobatics. Can. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute, Rom. <laughs> 20, 27, you squeeze on through. Here, I got you. 
Boop. Oh, nope. We tried to move you at the same time, so now your miniature's broken forever. That's a shame. Here you go. All right. Thank you. Yep. All and... right. So you uh, you find yourself in a room. Um, once a worship chamber of some kind, this hall has been thoroughly looted and vandalized. Though detritus covers the chamber, there is no furniture save for a remarkably unscathed sarcophagus on an altar at the southern end of the room. Oh, and also, like, there's a passage that leads to the west. And also another passage that leads to the west. And there's a lot of, like, gross blood, like old blood, that is somehow fresh and old at the same time, spilled all over the ground. And you see this disgusting blood trail, as if a creature who was heavily bleeding out zombie blood tried to escape. Mm. Mm hmm. Well, at this particular moment, I'm going to... Wander off on your own? Continue my movement to okay. just get up one. All right. Put myself in the corner. Ah, nice. Okay. And then I am going to use two actions to ready my loaded pistol to shoot the mm -hmm. the, the claws of time. Claws of time. If it appears. <clears throat> I love it. All right. Um, with that, um, uh, Grom, you're up. He will try to tumble through. Okay. Again. Yes, you get through. Nope. All right. He's going to ask Jerry, or Henry to <laughs> chop down this tree otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't chop down the tree. Don't do that. That's a spooky looking like tree. I think Jericho would like that tree. I don't think I'd harm it. So, tumbling through is an action, right? Yes. Okay. Well, he's looking for Jericho, but I'm guessing he doesn't see her anywhere. I already told you guys, I think she's a tree. <laughs> That's silly. Silly. Wild magic. <laughs> <laughs> he is going to spend an action seeking. Okay. And he's worried about Jerry. We turned right. water into, we turned water into wall earlier. I All mean, right, you, look, you look around, there's a pool of coagulated blood here, fresh, question mark. It looks like one of the Herexen fled down this hallway. Maybe Jericho is chasing it down, or maybe you, you, you doubt it was chasing Jericho. Well, no, no, he's the yeah. chaser, not the chasey. All right, that's it for my three actions. Okay. Um, if you would like, we can leave uh, combat. Yeah. Uh, oh, see, the Claws of Time has a startlingly high intelligence. Um, so, like, it's already kind of learned, like, that you guys, like, which of you guys could do reactions, which of you guys deals a lot of damage, who the uh, most vulnerable um, targets are. Uh, so, yeah, it's not, it's not going to be doing a lot of sloppy stuff uh, at this point, because it's... It's way smarter than I am, so I'm I'm trying my best to run it as as intelligently as I can. Henry leans against the tree. Uh, I could use a little bit of healing, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> These creatures, after about fifty <laughs> attacks, I think I, I've taken a slight wound. Okay. So, with the combat ended, uh, time begins to speed back up. And, um, let's see, Jericho only failed, um, the save against Happy Little Trees. They didn't critically fail. So after a minute... Oh, wait, hang on. I have one more fun tree fact for us. Oh, I, well, I mean, I share, it, share it for the yeah. your real form. That's fine. Yeah. Well, right. leaves appear green because chlorophyll absorbs red and blue light energy causing the green energy to bounce off the leaf surface whoa Dude, all right what is your is what is your uh magical girl transformation from tree oh, back to skeletal like, cowboy so you know <laughs> the bark itself <laughs> is gonna fall off like a scab 
Oh, God. Uh, and, and it's just kind of the most gr- grotesque looking cocoon emerging. Uh, this, this tree and the skeleton coming out. It's like a whole mm-hmm. thing. Yeah. Oh, man. Vashon Gattleby says, I'm going to be fucking sick. There's like Ugh. the sap is like blood. It makes it even more grody. Yeah, it's just super gross. Oh, man. Jericho, what was it like being a tree? I think that was the most peaceful I've ever been. Really? Yeah, you know, I, I'm going to try being a tree more often, I think. Well, you're get, a tree? Get out of Alkastar before you do. Find some of them uh, druids over in Mwangi or whatever. They take care of you. They make you a tree. Maybe I will. That'll be my my, uh, my epilogue. I'll write that down right now, actually. <laughs> you should tell us when you do that. Oh, I, mean, I'll, I was worried. So, sorry, Grom. I didn't have a mouth as a tree, so I'll scream oh, next you, time it happens. Turned into a tree in a really bad spot. That was really... Oh, well, I'm sorry. I'll do my best next time to turn into a tree where it's convenient. Sweet Pup watches intently and, and turns to you, Jericho, and says, Yes, I too was worried, and instead of telling you, I'm going to admonish you instead. All right, I accept this as well. Uh, Sweet Pup looks to Grom for approval. Give him a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Hey, Woodshop. Woodshop says, uh, this place is crazy. Right. Oh, shit. Is that retook damage? What if we just tell everybody back at the ship? Oh, wait. Weren't we supposed to find airship parts? Yes, I, um... I mentioned that, actually, uh, before we wandered <laughs> into that room, actually. Uh, I think I saw some in that the room with the zombies. Is this a is this a coffin down here? Yes, it is a fancy sarcophagus. Guys, I really want to open the coffin. Uh, I'm, I mean, fair. Do you think there's a I think there's either a monster or some loot in there? Possibly both. Well, which up says I? I mean, I saw some loot in the room with the zombies. Yeah, but this yeah, is we, a we coffin. Can go back there. This is our look at look at this. This is like bacon to be. Won't open. there be a mummy inside? Yeah. Maybe the monster is hiding in there. Maybe. Uh, how you doing, Grom? You, you look a little rough. Sweep Up says, we shouldn't find any yeah. more monsters. They always want to eat Grom. That's true. It's Grom, have you had your pickle today? I did. I'm, I, I'm all out of pickles. And everything. You're not pickled up right now? I'm not. Let, let's take a, a beef pause. Uh, hey, Grom, <laughs> could you come over here for a minute? The jet re? Looks like there are two people at once, so. Yeah, apparently uh, I'm some kind of god now. Monsters are afraid to attack me, so I'll just uh, I'll keep a lookout down this hallway. Make sure you got your B team badge on you. Mm. Wait, I'm 31 healing for both of you. Nice, very nice. Thank you. Who was that for, Henry and uh, Grom? Jet Re. Oh, uh, Jet Re and Grom. Oh man. Yeah, uh, Henry. No, Henry got healed first already. I am. Jet re explodes from too much healing. Inevitably pops out of hiding and crits me. I won't die right away. Um, we should have a discussion about maybe taking a break before we continue any further. Are you getting tired there? Well, me, no, I would, I would never. Uh, Uh I feel like some of us who use consumables and other such. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I'm out of reagents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe we consider uh, taking a break, uh, but I don't really know if we're on much of a time crunch right now. Yeah. For some reason, time feels important. Or not important, you know, given the, the context. Yeah, well, well, time is important until it doesn't become important because of the context. I think. That makes sense in my head. Listen. Don't listen to what that spooky guy said. My friend, Kosawana, he has got too level of a head to be trying to do some kind of crazy time travel. Uh... There's time cops. You know, you heard the guy, so there's time cops. You can't just be doing time travel all the time. It made a lot of sense to me, honestly. I feel like if you could just time travel anytime you want in this, in this you know, high magic society that, that is Golarian... We'd be all dead by now, right? There'd be robot dinosaurs going around and all sorts of nonsense. Mm. 
That's true. We ain't time cop. So, like, you know. But what if this is the path that leads us to becoming time cops? And so if we don't do this, we've unraveled all of time. Oh, mm. shit. This is, like, tough. Woodchop says, but didn't he say that that dog is, like, a time cop? It was doing a shit job. Yeah, how did he get past... How did Costa want to get past that? Did he just walk? Or just, like, ask nicely? Sweep Up says, Father, I mean, Kosawana is incredibly capable. I, I guess he had a sphinx with him. Oh. Uh, Maybe he built, like, a circular hamster ball type thing that he stayed in. Yeah. Oh. Oh, why didn't we think of that? Yeah, damn. We should have built Vashon, Vashon says, ah, more like he probably just ran. Ran, like, real fast. But then again, all the rooms still got monsters in them. Hmm. Maybe he Maybe reset he the hit. dungeon. He hid in the shadows. Do I take a break, or can I open this coffin? You know, that do feel like an inconsistency to me. Uh, I think we should take a break. What if he ain't even here? Well... When we have come all this way for for Jack, uh, and that just still, you know. What we gotta find another guy named Jack? Are you... Listen, I didn't read all the dossier and all that. Were there actually two people we're supposed to say? I just thought it was closer one. Keep up, Jack. Uh... Oh, yeah. Oh wait, I think we should rest. I don't think we should open the spooky coffin just in case it triggers like a big mummy lord boss fight. You know. I don't know. T uh... Uh, time listen, pressure. I just feel it weighing on my back. I just I'm worried Man. about Grom. Grom doesn't have a lot look, going on. Look look at look at this room. This is the kind of room that when you're playing an action RPG, you're like, God damn it. When you when you, <laughs> you, you know the rooms I'm talking about. You know the rooms yeah, I'm talking yeah. about where you're like you look around, you're like, Oh no. <laughs> okay. I I'm just uh. worried about Grom is all. Out of character, I have to say, I've been in a campaign where I had the Wild Magic Surge uh, reset the entire dungeon. Yeah. I love Wild Magic. Well, that was horrifying. <laughs> oh, Mid-dungeon. Reset the whole dungeon. <laughs> and teleported us to the beginning. Oh my god. Hey, well, you knew what you were dealing with though, the second time around. That didn't make it any better. We didn't heal or anything. It just jumped us oh. back to the uh, that's, Well, it didn't reset you guys. It just reset the dungeon. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, anyways, hmm. so uh, no, no sarcophagus. Yes, sarcophagus. Uh, we we spit in the face of time and just rest. Uh, I mean, I don't care either way. Just you know. Well, Grom, it's up to you. How do you feel? I would like my regents, but I don't want to be the cause of you know the world ending. Everybody like because Grom had to take a fucking nap. <laughs> so, Vash on nods. He says, "Man, that would that'd be pretty bad." People so, at the end of time, they're like, I wonder why this happened. Yeah. Hear me out. Have an idea. Try the coffin and see what goes on from there. Bastion said, Didn't I already give you some extra reagents, Crown? One. Oh. Yeah, I think you should be putting so, out well, more Bastion. Jesus. Well, you know. You don't know what us B team members get up to off camera, all right? There's a lot of. There was like way more danger that you guys were prepared for because we were fighting it off off screen uh and then uh sweep up and woodshot both nod uh corroborating his story all right i'll believe it when i see it in the in the notes <laughs> oh i see we gotta take our own notes now too wow yeah, the gm Bruh. perspective we need that Bruh, gm Bruh. <laughs> Bruh, i'm gonna slip you a blight bomb you add into the notes how brave we was fighting monsters in the background will do all right One down here and check out this sarcophagus. Alrighty. I've added one lesser blight bomb to your character sheet. Thank you. Every little bit helps. See if you bully Vashon enough, he'll give you stuff. <laughs> That's the lesson I've just learned. So before yep. we touch this yes, thing, yes, learned. <laughs> before, before we touch we this touch thing, um, yeah. I have a proposition for us. Mm-hmm. Mm. Everyone, we ready range shot. I'll walk forward because this thing seems to have a vendetta against me. And as mm -hmm. soon as it pops up, everybody fire at it. The, the, the hound? Right now. Yeah. 
Because the hound has attacked me every time I've been behind you guys. Mm. All right. I mean, I got a, I got a range attack. Uh, Jeff's got a range attack. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, the thing hates me. It doesn't want to go next to me. Oh, is that a door? Way? Oh, well, I think who had that idea? Jeffrey's not here, but Jeffrey had an idea of trying to grapple it. Um, so it can't teleport or something. But I don't really know if that'll work or not. But we could we could try it. Yeah, I'm not sure how its teleport works. If it can do it or grappled or not. Yeah, I have no idea. Chrome will reload the alchemical part of his alchemical crossbow. All right. So do we want to deal with this hound first, or open this coffin for loot first? I mean, we can do both. We can do both. All right, that's all you need to say. I'm opening up the coffin. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> All right, let me uh, see. I want to be here. You can flank it. Ah. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! I guess I should also ask you for some of this. Yes. Exploration actions. Can I like ready? I know this isn't an exploration action, but can I like ready an attack if this hound pops up next to me and punch it? Like, is that a viable? Um, alas, you can't walk around readying actions. That's still what initiative... Yeah, initiative still comes down to are you quick on the draw kind of thing. Jack, can you move, like, one square down? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Thank you. Uh Uh-huh. Uh, let's see. I will defend, I will search, I will investigate. All right, give me your recall knowledge, and Henry and Grom, give me your perceptions, and Jetri will also do a perception. I've already done it. Oh, nice. Oh, it was so small I didn't see it. My bad. Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, perception. Uh, oh, yeah, it's always off to the side. It doesn't live with the other skills. Or perception. Uh, public roll. Blind GM roll. All right. Um... Mm. Okay, unfortunately, even with your plus one bonus, Kelly, um, what's going on in here is beyond your religious knowledge to comprehend. Um, the rest of you are perceiving, but man, it's hard. Uh, you're getting a little worn down by these constant um, guerrilla tactics uh, from the claws of time. Uh, Jericho. As you go to open up the chest, uh, no one here speaks Aklo, right? Um, no? Okay, great. So. Alright. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, Alright, the sarcophagus on the altar. Um, ah, great. As you approach and get ready to lay hands on the uh, thing, you are pushed back, Jericho, as it animates. Damn straight. <laughs> Shocking, really. <laughs> we could never have seen this. Um, well, I mean, it's kind of cool because it's the actual sarcophagus is, is fighting this time. It's okay, not like I'll, a... I'll give it to you. That's unique. Okay. All right, all right. Uh, let's see. It's not like it's gonna vomit mummies out. That'd be weird. Could vomit right. lotuses, I bet. Yeah. Locusts? Wait, why are we all frightened all of a sudden? Oh, that is weird. Hmm. hmm. <laughs> why aren't we all frightened all of a sudden? That's a uh, great question. Nobody roll addition? Oh, okay, you can roll addition. You shouldn't roll addition until it's frightened. Just figure... Wait, I reduce all frightened effects by one. I don't know if that applies Ooh, here. Uh, it has a despair aura. Living creatures are frightened one. That's why uh, frightened. Je- Just being around this thing. Um, so I guess you, as a brave fighter... Um, the strongest of all classes in Pathfinder, uh, are just like, nah, I ain't scared. Um, but everyone who foolishly made something besides a fighter, uh, you guys are frightened one. Alright, now I will really... Oh, uh, let's see, you can't naturally recover from the sphere while the emanation, but recover, uh, instantly if you leave it. Uh, and when you first enter the emanation, I will need will saves from everyone which is done after taking the initial thing, or get even more screwed. 
All right. Terrible. All right. Oh. I, uh, so everybody, everybody, give me them uh, will saves there. Oh, terrible. Just I have the worst <laughs> dice tonight. <laughs> they're pretty. They're pretty bad. Yeah, I agree. They're pretty bad. Does anybody want to use the hasty start passive ability to take a five foot step? Oh. Mm. I mean, Grom, if you want to use it to back away, I mean. Well, I didn't know if one of you wanted to re <laughs> reposition move over um, or something to get flanking I better. Think... I don't know. Oh, we have flanking as we are. Okay. Yeah, you should move back in case of breach. <laughs> All right. I'll try to put on some music for this fight. All right, such Henry, as it were. Just crit it and then kill it. That's all we need to do. Just crit, crit the yep. monster. All right. Oh, so here, here's the problem. Um, everybody's making those saving throws, right? Against the uh, the DC 24. Oh, Jet, it's like you're not even here. Come on, bro. Uh, hold on. All right, Jet makes the save. Um, mm -mm. So everyone who failed, you are paralyzed. Oh. Yeah. So is that everybody except Jet? Looks mm. like it. All right. Hi. Well, I need us for clarification, even though I, uh, I, I maybe I'm wrong. Is Jericho kind of a living creature? I don't think uh, she does, but I want to, like, double-check. Living creatures are frightened one. It doesn't say... Um, if you're immune to any of these tags, aura, divine, emotion, fear, incapacitation, or mental, I would, I would say that you are not affected by it. Otherwise, yeah. I would say that you are affected by it. Okay. Um, because there are... Uh, undead can be afraid of things, so... Alrighty. Yeah. Um... Living creatures is just poorly poorly written in a Pathfinder kid world. They should never put the phrase "living creatures." Um, well, I figure it might they, be because to, like theoretically. Because there's not really a tag for like yeah. living creature. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm sure the yeah. the the writer was like, "Oh, I'll say living creature," and they'll know that it doesn't mean clockworks, golems, uh, undead. But it leaves it too ambiguous, in my opinion. Um, and also, there is a precedent for undead being afraid of stuff. So, uh, all right. And then everyone is also under the effect of despair. Is that also applying to you guys? Jesus it's Christ. The aura. Okay, yeah, 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 cool. All right, great. Um, oh, wow. That's fun. Okay. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and begin the encounter. I'll roll for everybody, and I'll just delete people that are not needed as we go. All right. What does paralyzed even do in Pathfinder? Do you so, get auto? Do you take auto crit? That's not. No. That would be nuts, you're off, right? You're, oh. you're off guard, and all you can do is recall knowledge and recall oh. actions that require your mind. Your senses still function, but only in the areas you can perceive without moving, so you can't seek. Oh, dang. <laughs> okay. Like, it would have been pretty rad if you know there was a status effect where you just get crit over and over again. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> I no, have, nobody? I may have just ran, like, 50 ghouls, so, uh, you know, uh, I'm okay. very familiar with this. Let's see. My token runs out of space for conditions. Does that mean I'm immune to everything? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I wanted a cool mummy fight music, but, like, I can't really find any. Um, just, just look up The Mummy with Brendan Fraser. Nah, any movie music, they get so mad. Oh, yeah, fair. Yeah. All right. Look up Desert uh, of Desolation music. Ooh, is that desert? I don't know uh, if they have any, but it's that old school adventure. All right. So anyone out there who's like, I'm going to take this obscure music and I am going to turn it into one hour extended mixes. You're doing God's work out there. Okay. You're, you're making it happen. Um... All right, we'll just grab any combat music at this point because I want to actually be able to, you know, like do this. So we'll just do the same combat music we just had. Yeah. All right. Uh, Scarecophagus. That's the name of the creature, by the way. Scarecophagus. It's a Pokemon, obviously, because um, it's a scary sarcophagus. Do you want me to explain it one more time? Is that, like, a, is that a Pokemon? 
Yeah, scare. Actually, there is there is one. It's called Confagoras, and it's the only Pokemon that got its own name uh, censored for online play because it had fag in it. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, that's a little little, tri little trivia fact for you. I love, I love, I love <laughs> Honestly, if this is a Confagoras or whatever, you guys would be really screwed because it's a pretty nasty Pokemon. Um, all right. Uh, let's see. The, the sarcophagus says, because <laughs> the kids talk. It says, who dares disturb the sanctity of this eldritch tomb? But you guys can't say anything, because you're all paralyzed. Um, and then it's like, uh, ah, your silence has made me angry. I will kill you now. Uh, all right. Uh, so, let's see. What does it do? Um, ew, gross. Okay, so it grows spider legs. Oh, yeah, that's a thing. Um, all right. Gross. So now it has a movement speed and a climb speed. And it didn't actually have to spend any actions to grow spider legs, so I'm into that. And then, let's see. It can detect magic. It detects the presence of magic items and spell effects. Sure. <laughs> um, what else does it do? Um... Hmm, it doesn't do much. It just beats you up. That's it. it just beats you up. Um I am I missing something? Oh, it casts spells. Okay. I was like I was like, ah, it's a, oh, it, it casts a lot of spells. All right. Um Hmm, in that case, uh let's start with hmm. Mm, yeah. It's going to cast Fireball. <laughs> uh, so let's see. Right there. Henry thinks about opportunity attacks. <laughs> yeah. Would you like to recall knowledge to learn more about... Uh, I have to do it on my turn. Re reactions? Uh, okay. Um, Alright, so we need a DC 26... Uh, saving throw against a fireball. Do not worry. It is a Pathfinder fireball. It shouldn't hurt very much at all. This is awful. All right. I'm Looks like me. everybody's failing. Jericho critically failing. Love to see it. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Kelly. <laughs> Ooh. Kelly fails. All right. Um, all right. Here comes the damage. Uh, 26 points of fire damage. Uh, Jericho, I guess you'd take 42 points of fire damage. Oh, I took... With your, I uh, minus your resistance. Minus your resistance. I took 49 for some reason. Oh. That's weird. Did you critically fail your save? I did. Yeah. Oh, my! I did bad math. I did bad math. Oh, is it, that one? Yeah, it'd be 52, not 42. Gotcha. It'd be 52. Gotcha. And then, yeah, and then your, your massive fire resistance kicked in, so... All right, um, so that's two Pac-Mans, uh, and then I think it, I think it knew, I think it knew that Jericho more than anyone else wanted to open up this sweet loot, loot box that's there. So it is going to uh, tentacle strike you. Uh, here we go. Uh, Thirty-one is a critical hit. I can't take any actions, right? Correct. Okay. Uh, so it hits you for 40. What if I told you I don't uh -huh. want to? I... <laughs> <laughs> I would... I want to use my collapse, but I'm not sure I know. if that would... Oh, I can't because it's a reaction. Oh, I have to yeah, it. but oh, here, damn, here. Man. I'll meet you, I'll meet you halfway. You can be prone at zero now. Oh, and thanks. that's kind of the same yeah. as collapsing. That's kind of the same there as collapsing. Go. All right, hype. Um... Play passes to Grom. Grom is paralyzed. Uh, I guess you lose your turn, but now you're not paralyzed because it says it only lasts uh, through your first turn. Hold on. I thought I could recall knowledge. Oh, yeah. My bad. My bad. That's right. I'm so used to this other paralyzed from this other game. All right. I, I will recall knowledge. One Might as well. Might as well three recall turns. three flipping times, bro. Bring it. My recall and knowledge of this will cause me to lose my fear of it. Oh, okay. I'll do it three times then. If you want it. I I thought that would help me get over my fear of zombies, so I watched a lot of zombie movies, and eventually it did actually help me get over my fear of zombies. 
Um, all right, so on your first one against this creature, you're like, I don't know what's going on. Um, it's crazy. But your bry knowledge actually helps you figure figure some stuff out. Okay. So, um, so the sarcophagus on the altar uh, likely contains the body of the highest ranking cog from this particular sect of Bryites. Um, however, looking at the sarcophagus, you are noticing that there are unmistakable signs of devotion to the outer gods, which is what they call the Cthulhu gods in uh, Galarian. Uh, you can see that there are carvings in Aklo all along the sarcophagus, and those same uh, carvings are on the walls and uh, the remnants of uh, jars and tapestries that litter the floor. You realize that this is not a chapel to Bry, but to Yug Stothoth. Yug Stoth. Well, there's like a bunch of THs there. So it just one, he just likes to be called Yug Stoth. I don't know if they added it. He added some extras, but this is what this is how they spell it on his uh, taxes. Yeah, tax Yogg Yeah, Yogg Yeah. Huh. Um, so that's fun. Uh, do you want your next call knowledge to be about Yogg Sothoff? Sure. Sure. Um, let's see. You begin to rack your brain, trying to think of what the hell is going on here. Um, and what's your religious training? It's not showing up in your uh. Is this training? Yeah. Uh, Can you... Plus, plus eight. Plus eight. Okay. Um, okay. Then you're not 100% sure other than they are an Eldritch uh, Outer outer God, but you roll again uh, on your with your third Pac-Man, and it comes to you. Uh, Yog Sothoth is, along with uh, some of the other more, you know... Um, squiddy and blobby fellows one of the greatest of the outer gods in appearance he is said to be uh, a congeries of iridescent spheres brilliant foaming bubbles that constantly expand and collapse in upon themselves um, he has other manifestations however including the lurker on the threshold a mass of black tentacles that endlessly writhe reach and grow and a mysterious humanoid figure hidden behind a shimmering veil. He embodies all of space and time. Uh, he exists in all places and in all moments simultaneously. Paradoxically, however, he is unable to manifest in the mortal universe unless summoned, a magical act that uh, almost always results in untold destruction. Um, he is known as the key and the gate, and magicians and cults research him in an effort to master time and space. Fortunately, his worship is not widespread, but some of those who have delved deep into his secrets describe him as an ambivalent figure rather than a malevolent one who guards cosmic secrets and makes them accessible to those who dare ask for them. Ooh, good thing nobody's doing a ritual here that has to do with time and space. That, that would be really bad. All right. Uh, I would like to speak to manager because I was told it was going to be... A cowboy adventure? I mean, cowboy adventure? It's turning to Call of Cthulhu adventure. There's oh. some Call of Cthulhu Western adventures, <laughs> for sure. For sure there's so, Western Call of Cthulhu adventures. You, um, you said it looked like it looked like it was originally a Brigite temple and then was like sort of vandalized into Yogg Sothoth? Or is it, uh, or is it definitely, Cthulhu? it definitely looks like this has been converted, yes. Like, converted. Okay. your so combining this with what you learned... Uh, from Droxelos, you think that he must have cousined all of these people in to worshipping Yog sothoth through uh, corrupted worship of Bry. All right. So basically he took your fellow Bryites back in the day and uh, Kosawana, apparently, and converted them uh, without, their, without them realizing it into Eldric cultists. Yeah, that's how we do. Yeah, I mean, just look at Southern Baptists. You know what I'm saying? Just, 
the thing. <laughs> uh, anyways, it's kind of the same thing. Oh man! Oh yeah, because you're because you're paralyzed. Yeah. Um, Fashion, he's he's paralyzed with fear. Um, uh, fighting demons like the B team do. Jet isn't paralyzed though. He's just a little spooked out. He's gonna go ahead and fire at this sarcophagus twice with his two loaded guns using an ability I like to call shoot two guns. Uh, here we go. Um, if I remember how to do this. Um, you can skip Kelly if it matters. Uh -huh. Oh shit, my bad. Uh, Kelly, uh, yeah, you're up and you are also paralyzed, but you can give me three. Uh, recall knowledge if you want. Absolutely. All right. Oh, then he's here just in time. See, you should not have mentioned the Oxford. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. You made it. I'm downloading world data. All right, no worries. Okay, let me see what you got here. Oof. Okay. Are you re-rolling or no? Hello? No, I thought I gave three rolls. Yeah, I got three rolls. Um, I'm going to oh, be honest. Sorry. I'm going to be honest. They're three pretty bad rolls. You are unable to really pull yourself together through the fear to recall anything of use in this current situation. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, all right, Jet, you're up. Uh, you're the only person in the party who's not paralyzed with fear. Oh, that's cool. But you have both guns loaded, and one is in each hand. Okay. I do what okay. I do then. I pair okay. shots. All right. Do you want to pair your shots? Are you in? Yeah, I'm going to pair my shots. I'm in. All right. Go for it. Uh, let me draw this and now because it's strong and then i will shooty shoot oh also it occurred to me that i should check to see if a wild search was caused by the casting it was not okay oh that's a critical hit all right nice so damage for the first one you are rolling everything secretly just so you know oh okay and then damage for oh i am yep that's weird um, how do I show it to you? Uh, do right click on each one of them, and there should be an option to show reveal or reveal. Everybody. Okay. There you go. All right, and then, and then I'll reveal the other one. All right. Oh, very and nice. Damage. For, here's the damage for the second one. Okay. You got to reveal the damages so you're still rolling everything secretly. Oh my god, why is it doing that? By to the me? by the dice. Uh, make sure it's on the. Yeah, the D20 and not the eyeball or whatever, or the person. Where, where would I find that on my Bo character bottom, sheet? Yeah, Very bottom, bottom of right. your screen, bottom right, where there's mm -hmm. a chat area. There should be a dice. You want to make sure that has a blue around it. By clicking on it, make sure it's blue. Yeah, I wonder how that turned on. But, uh, yep, no, there I, we there's no the idea. damage right. and maybe even... So a total of 30 uh, piercing or bludgeoning damage, depending on weaknesses and resistances. Okay. And then, um, I don't know if it would take a DC fort save. I don't, I don't know this. Um, thing. let's see. Again, stunned. Uh, this creature, I believe, can be stunned. So let me ro try to roll a fort save for it. Uh, it crushes it with a nat 20, 36. Wonderbar. All right. All right. And then, um, I will do a, uh, a running reload. And then, uh, let's see, uh, I'm just going to back up a bit, maybe. Yeah, that's what I'll do, I'll just back up a bit. All right, that's my turn. Okay, uh, let's see, play would pass to Henry. Uh, Henry, like Qui-Gon Jinn, just relaxes and waits for his turn next time around. Beautiful, all right, um... All right, so as you end your turn, but before the round ends, you hear the vorping of teleportation. Uh, a, a special friend has appeared. Uh, there's a paralyzed Kelly right here. Doesn't like the celestial void. Uh, and it is going to attack with its jaws. Wait, did the paralysis doesn't end at the end of your turn? 
Uh, let's see. No, you're right. So he's not paralyzed anymore, but it rolled an actual nat 20 for a 42 yeah. total on its attack roll. Um, but yeah, you shouldn't be paralyzed anymore. If your if your turn has come and gone, you should get rid of the paralysis. All right, so Kelly, here comes damage for you. Uh, fifty points of damage. Well, here's the campaign. We had to open the circle. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I couldn't help it. My hands are a little grubby, you know. I, I was there too. I just be honest. <laughs> All right, ooh, ooh, now I am let's one see. away from being the full circle. Oh, dude, Ooh. he's going to finish his boss bar for me. I'm oh, no. Claws of Time, though. It does not say that it is immune. Uh, well, it says immunity to emotion, so it, was, it can't be feared then, right? Immune to emotion? Okay. Then, oh, yeah, it's not even picking up anything from the aura. Okay. Then, yeah, it's going to teleport away and maybe leave you guys a little wild surge on the way out. Nope, it does not. Did he roll a wild surge for his fireball? Well, I did. He got an 18, okay. so cool. it wasn't a wild surge. Okay. All right, uh, back to the beginning. Uh, Jericho, you are still paralyzed because your initiative got moved, I guess, to here. Yes, I'm also All right. just when you make a dying save. And uh, dying, yeah. Did you guys know it took 70 days to make a mummy <laughs> and a lot of salt? <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right, success. Nice. All righty, that's my turn. All right, that brings us to the Scarecophagus. All right, the Scarecophagus. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Okay. It do got more spells. It do got more spells. Um, it's got this Henry Ironsides here, though. It might need to deal with. Um, let's see. Hmm. What's this thing do? Oh, weird. Okay. Um, is this thing just out to kill, or is it out to massacre? I think it's out to massacre. Um, all right. Then what it's going to do is it's going to, with its spider legs, uh, it is going to step on top of Jericho, which it is allowed to do, because you're an Here. unconscious prone target. Um, then... It is going to cast Electric Arc, uh, which may or may not cause a complication. Let's find out. Ooh, it does. All right. Uh, 95. Right, I'm sure the high... It's the tree one. <laughs> is it? Yeah, it is. The tree one was super high. Mm. Oh, no. I don't... Oh, no. Um... Okay. Uh, uh, I don't know if there's room for this. Hold on. It's a bigger tree. Okay, hold on. Um, I, I don't know how this other group's going to survive this. Well, we, we've given them uh, leniency. We, we voted. Um, oh, we did? That's yeah. terrible. I wouldn't have voted for that. <laughs> All right, let's see. That means so um, if someone does die to wild magic, I, I vote we do revoke this leniency. Um, just because, you know. Okay, so here's what happens. A a cabin appears. Oh. Um, it's 20 feet on each side and 10 feet high. Um, it has the structure trait and um, the same restrictions as magic items that create structures. Uh, the walls are simple and wood uh, with small glass windows, and it has one wooden door. Um, it doesn't include its own lock, but it has a fastener, a fastener to which a lock can be applied. The interior contains three cots, a chamber pot, and a small fireplace holding a magical fire. Uh, the interior is lit with small magical light, uh, that you can light or extinguish, uh, at will using a sustained action. The climate inside the hut is comfortable and allows creatures inside it to withstand most hostile weather conditions, but incredible heat or cold, powerful storms, uh, and winds of hurricane force or greater destroy the hut. Uh, other creatures can freely enter or exit the hut without damaging it. But if you, uh, you exit the hut, the spell ends. You can dismiss the spell. Well, here's the thing. Um, there is no owner of the hut, and it is permanent. Um, well, it said it had to follow the rules for summoning structures. 
Can you summon a structure in a space that's too small for it? Yes. Uh, so this says here, uh, creatures okay. in the area of the cabin can move to any space of their choice next to where the cabin forms. Uh, this is force movement, and they must make a basic reflex save against 6d10 bludgeoning damage. Uh, creatures reduced to zero hit points by this damage are trapped under the cabin. Oh my god. <laughs> Kelly and I would be stuck under this fucking house. <laughs> All right, yeah, so <laughs> it's got to be set. It's got to be centered on the caster. So twenty foot cabin would be like this. Oh my god. Uh, you're already at zero, so you're under the cabin. Yeah. Uh, this creature would get pushed out, so it would have to get pushed to here because there's no other place for it to get pushed. Um, and it's gonna take six v ten. It's got to make a reflex against its level of casting, which is a seventh level caster. So it's DC 23 reflex save from a sarcophagus. Sorry, a scare sarcophagus. Scare sarcophagus. All right, so 29. So it's going to take half of 6d10 bludgeoning damage. I think I still have to make this save. Um, if I oh, yeah, to make sure you don't take, yeah. take all this damage. Yeah. 43 points of bludgeoning. This is a DC 23 reflex, reflex saving throw. Jeez. So if you critically fail, won't it kill you for massive damage? Mm, no. Oh! Well, good thing I, good thing I don't. <laughs> You're just trapped under a house. That's easy mode. Yeah. <laughs> just trapped under a house. No big deal. I got full cover. All right, so, door. Well, yeah, um, we're going to roll randomly for the door. Uh, Jericho, give me a D4. Um, one will be north, two will be east, three will be south, and four will be west. Oh, please, on the you, east. You do not want... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the, it's to the north. All right. I will draw the house real quick. This is just normal Pathfinder stuff, right? This is how normal Pathfinder kids play Pathfinder? Yeah, yeah, it makes sense I, to me. Okay. What a shetty situation. A shetty situation? Oh, man. Who said that? Will. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, um, this is going to be a window, and this will be a window. <laughs> Let's be. Am I allowed uh, to crit succeed reflex saves while I'm prone and unconscious? Is that, like, allowed? Hey, I mean, it's it's. Listen, we're in a board game universe, so <laughs> it is it is what it is. You know, all right, all right, all right. I don't know why that didn't count as. Uh, there we go. None, none. And then we got some nice doors in the front. Here we go. Door, door is not locked. Wonderful. It did not describe the windows as being able to be opened, so you will have to smash the windows, I guess. Um, that's cool. And then, Jericho, I guess you're underneath the house, so I'll put you at negative five. I'm going to grab some tea real quick. When I get back, I'm sure I'll still be under the house. But I know. You're having a... Yeah. I'm having yeah, a I... time. This is a great session, like, just to... <laughs> <laughs> Thank, thanks for stream thanks for streaming it um all right so anyways as it goes to cast the spell um anyways a situation uh grom and jet you guys are targeted by um wow it's been a it's a lot's happened since it tried to cast electric arc here's your electric arc uh give me dc 26 grom and jet All right, here we go. Uh, 15 points of electrical damage. So if you succeed, you take half. If you fail, you take the full amount. All right, it has one more action. It's going to use that action to attack with it. No, it doesn't, because Electric Arc is two actions, and it stepped. So that is its turn. All right, uh, Grom, to you. You are no longer paralyzed, and you are filled with eldritch knowledge. There's also a house. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, can I get through this door? 
Um, well, there's a creature blocking the space. So you'd have to do... I would allow a combo action of opening the door and um, tumbling through for two Pac-Mans. But you would um, have to tumble. You would have to tumble through this creature. I'll try it. All right. Oh hell yeah! Um, you succeed almost critically, uh, if not for the fear. Um, so yeah, open the door and head on in, son. All right, it's really nice in there, actually. There's, like, some cots, and there's a little fire uh, in the fireplace. Uh, here, I'll turn the fire on for you. There you go. Fireplace yeah. over here. And I, I don't see Jericho in here. Uh, you do see, you do see like, the, the, the baseboards of the floor are, like, ri rising up in a particular spot. It looks, like, Jericho-shaped right here. You, you think that the you think that like the Wicked Witch of the West like the house maybe on top of Jericho? Okay, I'm sorry. When I came through here, like getting there was two actions, right? <laughs> well, yeah, you have your full like you did a tumble through, so you get to you know you get I to move. Oh. Yeah, you have yeah, but you have one action left, and yeah, there is a raised lump in the floor that you think is Jericho. Uh, I'll try and help. Okay. After I'm gonna go ahead and shoot here real quick. Okay. All right. I'm loaded up. All right, as you fire on the creature, it's a uh, stony carapace uh, deflects the attack. All right, I'm done. All right, play passes to Jet Re. All right. Uh, I'm going to go for it anyways. Okay. I'm going to go do a manipulate action. Okay, okay. All right, as you do a manipulate action toe-to-toe -to -toe with this incredibly powerful monster that you know nothing about mm -hmm. um it's all good it doesn't doesn't do anything to you all right mine was my manipulation was uh to reload stride with uh okay my running reload to nice. then run away uh let's see 10 15 20 25 so here and then here uh, and then i will uh whip out I will uh, free action drop a gun because I have to okay. drop a gun. Shit. So I okay. can then pull out. Uh, a elixir of life. Oh, okay. So then I could use my third pack man to then feed that you said elixir of life to Kelly. To, to Kelly. All right. Beautiful. Yeah. So one, two, three. Here it is. There you go, Kelly. All righty. Then play would pass to Kelly. All right, I think I'm still uh have despair. So. Well, yeah, as long as you're in this aura, you have despair. But I'm not paralyzed, right? But you're not paralyzed. You are prone, though. Uh, lying on the ground, I'm going to try to do some battle medicine. Oh, I can't. It hasn't been an hour yet. Damn it. Mm. Okay. Um, let's see. Hey, you. I'm going to use an elixir life on myself. Mm, okay. All right. All right. A little bit of healing. And I'll stand up. Okay. All right. Play passes to Henry Ironside. Uh, Henry, he got a rage. Okay. This is bad. And then he will uh, <laughs> sudden charge, I guess. Okay. Like, uh, around. Not not through the window. Uh, uh no. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This glass probably does ten d eight damage. <laughs> <laughs> runs forward and then he'll try to strike this thing. All right, that's gonna hit, and that'll be all a start. right. It takes 17 points of damage. Uh, all right, as your turn ends, uh, the claws of time. 
Oh, I shouldn't have the... If the plus one would have given me a crit, then I actually would have, because I have a minus one from the Ooh, fear I shouldn't suffer from. Let me from. see... Nope, its AC is 26. Oh, then, okay. Yep. Um, Alright. Uh, Grom, you feel time and space vorp. Uh, and then you look, and the hound of Tindalos emerges from the corner of the beautiful cottage. This is a magic cabin. He can't come in here. <laughs> it target it. It belongs to everyone. Uh, it targets you. Yeah, this one's called ninety five free real estate. That's what this uh, wild surge was called. Um. And then it is going to uh, try and eat you with its jaws uh, hitting for uh, 20 points of damage. Uh, and then, um, yeah, it'll do what it does. It's going to go ahead and warp back out of there, uh, not causing a wild surge. All right, uh, top of the round, Jericho Darling, under the house. I think they're stable, right? They're not, they're, no, they have dying one. Do you want fun house facts for me? No, I, want, I, I do want to, I do want a recovery check oh, from okay. you. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can give you fun house facts too, you know. All right, so you're actually stable under the house. This is about as safe as you could possibly be right Am now. Am I suffocating or anything? You're a skeleton. You don't suffocate, right? We've established that at least. Sure, I believe it. Okay. okay. You want a new objective for combat, Crash. Under sure. being trapped under a house. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. You can oh, I don't worry. I know. I know how to deal with the house. Drop a whale on it. Oh. Ah. All right, Scarecophagus is up. Um, let's see. Hmm, it wants to get rowdy and cause some cause some mischief here. Um, but it do not like cats and spells getting bonked. Nobody likes that. Uh, let's see. What is this? This thing's such a meta gamer. Ooh, actually, I I have been playing this thing too easy. Remember those spider legs I mentioned? It allows it to step 10 feet for free once per turn. What the fuck? <laughs> All right. So it'll go uh, this way. Okay. And then, um, let's see. Eh? I want, I want one of these things. There we go. Yeah, can, I can hit, what, only, oh, there we go, that hits all three of you. All right, it's going to cast Lightning Bolt. You're dead. All right, so here we go, it's got to see if it causes a Wild Surge, because the last one was pretty, bon oh no, what if it got 95 again? It'd be pretty funny. All right, 12. All right, back up to the top. I don't need a table for this. It's never going to come up. Um, oh, we get this one a lot. Plants and vines grow from all surfaces within 20 feet, causing all creatures in the area to be immobilized unless they make a DC 23 reflex save. All right. on hit? Um, well, from the where it casts the lightning bolt, so I'm going to just say the first square of the lightning bolt. So that's a good, that is a good question. So we'll say it starts uh, right there. Uh, 20 feet. There we go. We'll make that one green. So flowering vines grow up everywhere. Blah, 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 blah. Um, it also has to make a reflex save. All right. It got a 31, so it's okay. Um, if you are caught by it, which it doesn't look like anybody is, uh, it would have been a DC-23 escape. All right, so now the actual lightning bolt. Here we go. Was, was Grom in the lightning bolt? Nope, you're inside the house where it's safe. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Super safe. All right. Okay. 
Okay, got failure, failure. I need one from Kelly. At what point do we kind of just accept the L and run away? I mean, there's really no way to run at this point. I mean... You, where are you going to run? You're under a house. I'm safe under the house. I'm not worried about myself. I'm hanging that, that's out. Like, Hell yeah! That's a good All right. Right. I will go for a reroll. Are you going to go for a reroll? Okay. Yeah. You're trying to hit a DC 26. All right, so here comes the damage. Their lightning bolts use D12s, so they could be really bad or really nuts. Uh, 34 is the damage coming in. So if you failed, you take full. Uh, Kelly, you pass, you take half. All right, so, yeah. so that would be 17 total, unless you have some kind of resistances. Nope. All right, and that, it still has one action left. Um, it will, since it stepped for free, uh, I guess, hmm, yeah, Kelly, uh, you're fine, but Henry, it's going to try to attack you with its tentacle. Hmm. All right. Yeah, I'm definitely no longer a threat. <laughs> Here is 18 points of smashing damage yep okay grom to you <sighs> you are alone in the house well you're not alone there's a jericho shaped lump in the floor is there any possibility grom could use crafting to open the floor up right there Ooh, that sounds really cool uh yeah we'll treat this as a two action um like crafting so it'll be two pac-man but if you make the crafting check uh which will be a dc 23 you will uh pry up the boards and free jericho mm. i'll reroll that okay hey that's a critical success so you definitely pull everything free uh from jericho and i would say you can uh stride as part of doing it to show that you kind of moved around uh pulling up boards oh man i don't have anywhere to stride to um i can get a full stride well i mean assuming it ends adjacent to jericho just to kind of show that you're moving around digging digging them up you know what i mean Action. That'd be passive ability here, but so one action. I will use a passive B team ability first aid. Ooh, okay. Try and get a uh, one of them to come in here and apply first aid. All right. Who do you want to plot? Who do you want to use it uh, to use it? Sweep up. Well, yeah, sweep I'm up. already Junior, stabilized. Buddy. If that's what first aid does. Oh, yeah, they are already stabilized. Okay, yep. well, I won't worry about that. They were actually a lot safer before you excavated them from the floor. Well, I didn't know that. Oh. <laughs> so, so okay. Now I can go punch him, though. I'm already yeah. to get back in the game. Once that's true, that's true. You got a heal on you? I don't. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. That, that Jericho, do you got a heal on you? I have, um, oh, let me see, actually. I think I do. Woodshop Wood Shop says I saw some healing potions in the room with the zombies. I have I have one oil of unlife lesser on me. I will spend my action. So I guess that off yeah, of to grab yeah, to pick it up. Okay. That's it. All right, Jet, to you. Uh, I pick up my gun. All right. And then I paired shots. Hell yeah. Double this. That's okay. Question. All right. Uh, play passes to Henry. All right, uh, Henry. I guess he moves up. All right. Uh, here I'll move out of the way so I'm not in Jet's way. I'll target this thing. And I guess we will try a knockdown. Ooh. Okay. So a strike first mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, 
attempts to hit. Yep, yep. Okay, damage. And then... Okay, okay. Then we attempt to trip. So let's open you up. Uh, and that's at the, not at a penalty. Oh. That's a success. Okay. Yeah. So you sweep all the mechanical spider legs and it goes... Uh, whoop, 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 and it flips upside down. Hmm. Henry feels like he's done something, looking at his bloodied body. And that's his <laughs> whole turn. All right, beautiful. Uh, as your turn ends, Henry, uh, you hear the whooping of uh, time and space, and Jet Re, you see it appear behind you. Uh, the hound lashes out at you, trying to, uh, well, I guess, consume you. Here we go. Um, 25 is just going to be a regular hit. Here's the damage. Uh, 27 points of damage. Down. Shit. Oh, and, then it, and then it is going to warp away. Ooh. Possibly causing a wild surge in the process, which it does. And the wild surge is... Um, magical en uh, energy suffuses the air, granting creatures in a 20-foot emanation a plus two status bonus to all saving throws for one minute. Ooh. All right. I'm going to go use the bathroom. Yeah, I'm back. Okay. So I'll make this one blue. All right. And then... Uh, back to the top of the round. Jericho, still out. You want to delay? Can you delay if you're unconscious? You can delay if you're unconscious. Did, as long did as you stable, know that right? the housing market is in shambles? Yes. Oh, excellent. That's my fun house fact. That's all I have. Uh, I don't know <laughs> if I can de delay while I'm unconscious. I feel like that'd be a way to cheat the system if I could. You know what I mean? Really? I, I guess. I, I feel like if I, cause if I delay all right, time, all right. Then, and just wait for Dom oh. to heal me. I'll still get a turn, you know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'll do I mean, it if you let me. It just feels like I'm cheating, but I'll do it. Uh, PF2E, can I delay if unconscious? Uh, because delay action is an action, no, an unconscious person can't use the delay action. Ah. All right. Fair enough. Uh, Kelly, uh, you are down. Oh. Yeah. All right. Give me a recovery check. All right. That is the recovery. So you'd be stabilized, I believe. Or no, you're at uh, dying two because you had a wound. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. So you'd be down to one question mark. Uh, yeah. All right. So the scare cophagus is up. It does not like being prone. That's not very nice. Uh, what can it do about that, though? Uh, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Um, it is gonna try to stand up. Oh, alright. Alright, that's gonna hit. And that is a hit for 23. Oh, man. All right. Um, the creature is past bloodied. One Pac-Man to stand up. Free action. It can scamper up to 10 feet away. Before it does, though, um, it will target Henry and attack him with a tentacle strike. Out of curiosity, is any of this, like, some form of difficult terrain or anything? with these? Um, the green stuff, unfortunately, is not. It just is beautiful flowers everywhere now. Okay. Okay. Um, 23 is going to be a hit, um, because of the rage. Mm -hmm. All right. Here's the damage. Oh, I can take that. 15. Uh... All right. It's got one more. So it'll attack at map. Ooh. Uh, and then <clears throat> that will be 12. And then it will scuttle back 10 feet with, of, uh, as a free action. Play passes to Grom. 
Grom, you have the benefit of not knowing how bad things are outside. Grom, uh, they're dying out here. Uh, also, this guy's not out the window, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay. All right. I will... Oh, wait, now you do know what's going on outside, because Henry just shouted at you, we're dying out here. Oh, we're dying in here, too. I'll give Jericho the potion. Okay. Chug, chug, chug. All right. Uh, let me just go grab it. Oil of one life. Ooh, that's actually not a bad... bad one. Nice. I will reload Grom. my crossbow. Okay. Move to here. Oh. Henry. Oh, this came up on Saturday. So I want to ask you guys. Um, allowing the reposition action on a friendly target, you still have to make the check or whatever but to take someone from prone to not prone does that seem like within like what reposition would do i would say that that's fair i mean if you want right? to an action to get someone up i think that's i think that's fair actually and you still have to roll you still have to roll to do it you know what i mean so like you still have to do a successful athletics or whatever and it and it has the attack trait so i mean there's like a, it's a pretty big tax to do it yeah. but I don't know, I thought it was kind of... You don't need to yeah. me, Grom. I would advise you, Grom, by the way, don't stand in this line right here. Just just don't don't end your turn there. <laughs> Where? Uh, uh, the doorway. The I think doorway. they're saying don't, don't end your turn in the doorway. I'm going to shoot a big old bolt of lightning down there, so don't stand there. How about, just don't how end about your right turn here. There. Oh, yeah, that's good. I just want to let you know. i my turn there. I'm back in the corner. All right. <laughs> Trying not to cry. <laughs> uh, Jet Rhea, I need a recovery check. All right. Where's the... Uh... Oh, I see it. There you go. All right. You are stable. No problem. No problem. All right. Henry, to you. Uh, Hen Henry moves up. Okay. Henry target uh, creature. Oh. Now, you want to move up there, bud. What? Right here? Yeah, you would want to move there. Why? Right. What, what, what happens if he moves there? can't stride away from him anymore, I think. Oh, you're, well, it could go further into the corner here, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Henry's goal is to try to just take this leg out this turn. Oh, oh, hell, okay, yeah, that sounds like He's a good plan. He's gonna try. Wait, did you just oh, come up with this plan? It, it's Look it's working. It's working. It's 44 working. points of damage. Jeez, All right. He's dead. It's, it's Jeez. over. Well, know. Henry, if you could have done this the whole time, why did you let everybody get knocked down to zero first? This yeah, isn't a, this isn't, yeah, this isn't an episode of Power Rangers. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't all have to get our asses beat before you rally and kill the bad guy. You could have just killed him. I have to roll a 19 to critically, <laughs> to critically hit. It's champion fighter, baby. You know, that's fine. Uh, it's possible. Yeah. So, as you uh, hit this creature, it triggers its death effect. Um, if a Scarecophagus is reduced to zero hit points uh, by any damage other than positive energy, it cracks open when it's destroyed like a kinder egg uh, and disgorges a mummy. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> a friendly <laughs> mummy, right? Yeah, it's friendly mummy. You should have it We've broken out of its coffin. Here, you know? This should be thankful. Uh, on, I still have another attack, so I mean, I'm, I'm gonna try to just. Yeah, I'm, sure. I'm gonna uh, I got. I have to roll it into initiative and all that stuff. So, um, if the mummy survives on its own for a month, it becomes a stronger mummy. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> I'm happy for it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, so I guess I will use, uh, uh, I don't know, Brutus Show just because I can. Okay. <laughs> uh, since I have to, it's a press attack anyways. And, eh, regular damage. Terrible regular damage. I mean, how much HP could it have, you know, all right? Um, all right, as you swing on this mummy, which I know nothing about, because I was joking about the mummy until I read the, <laughs> read the thing, and then... I was like, oh, okay. Um, let's see. Is there anything that happens from hitting it? Oh, it also has a despair aura. Well, that's fun. Um, this is like the face. All right. 
Living creatures are frightened one while in a mummy guardian's despair aura. Um, when a creature first enters, they must do a will 20 um, or be paralyzed for one round. Um, so I guess this is different than the, sarc the scare sarcophagus's um, aura. Um, I think you'll pass this one. That's, all right. Hang on. uh, oh, yeah. Okay, good, 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 good. Then you I just keep, yeah. continue to take it. In fact, you're now immune to this effect for 24 hours. Oh, perfect. All right. Um, okay, the creature takes some damage, uh, and there's no weird, like, grave dust burst out every time it gets hit or anything like that. I'm, All right. I never know with this game. Can you shove well, it? Now it's, yes, now it's now off guard, <laughs> and then oh, I shove it. Oh. Okay, so let me add Can off guard it? to it real quick. Okay. Uh, oh, only right. until the end of my turn. <laughs> all right, go for it. Oh, Ooh, it's over. nice. <laughs> all right, uh, you can shove it up to ten feet away from you. Uh, what? Okay, which way? Well, I guess just it's go, just shoving. You want to go down, go down the hallway? Oh no, no, don't go down the hallway. Just put it right, put it right. No, there. right, right here. Oh, okay. Erica's got a plan. Should it. I okay. follow after? I'll follow after it. All right. Beautiful. Or should I not, Jericho? Oh, no, 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 you're good. <laughs> okay, I think that's everything on this turn. I hope. love it. All right, as your turn ends, uh-oh, uh, you hear the vorping no, of... this fucking dog. Time and space. The question is, is it bold enough to go after its 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 nemesis, Henry? Hmm, could it drop Henry? Oh, is it feeling spicy? Everyone else is down. Just, uh, all right. Uh, sure. Uh, Henry, it appears behind you. Uh, fantastic. Mm. All right, and it's gonna try and bite you. Uh, Here we go. No, stop giving me the spear. Uh, oh. Oh. Shit. oh man. Forty-one. God damn it. Uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm done. Uh, <laughs> forty-two points of damage. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell? This thing's dice rolls tonight. Hold on a second. No, What's he, up? no, he doesn't. Oh, mm, shit. One second. What? Oh, you got something? Uh, this is gonna hurt, but I'm gonna do it. Are you? What do you got? We're gonna we're gonna play hard and dirty. Oh, until the start of your next turn, any damage that you should oh do uh, until the start of your next turn. That's a crazy card, or is that not a card? That's just an ability. That's, that's no, a that's a card. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, would reduce you to zero hit points, leaves you with one hit point remaining, gives you the doomed one condition, or in cr oh no, it's yeah. bad. Yeah, it's real bad. As usual, you die when your doomed condition equals your dying value. Oh no, so it's got to decide. Does it try to teleport away, which will provoke from you? Uh, does it try to get away from you, which it won't? Uh, or does it try to attack you again, unsure why you're still fucking standing? Yeah, you know what? It's, it'll attack you at map. Here we go. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. As, a, as a time cop, it don't like cheaters. Even though it's a cheater, you know how cops are. Okay. Uh, here we go. Uh, all right, regular hit. Yep. Okay, well, I guess we're just gonna we're just gonna die eventually, but we so might you're have, gonna might be have... at doomed two now. Uh, yeah, but I mean, Woo! it could have just it could have just killed me while I was down. So. <laughs> all right. Uh, and then I guess since it's sticking around, I will keep it in the initiative here. Uh, let's see. I was kind of treating it like a like a little layer action, but now it's committed. Here we go. All right, top of the round, Jericho, darling. I'm going to crawl five feet. Okay. <laughs> Army crawl <laughs> yeah. across the across the lovely cro uh, crochet rug in the uh, the cabin. I okay. see this fucking dog is back. <laughs> God damn it! Uh, but I am going to uh, do a um, this thing. What's it called? Megavolt. I am going to Megavolt. Um, All right. So within. Okay, I have to un use the unsilva function in order to get it. So it's going to be a sixty foot line. Bum, 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 bum.
and he makes a again it's just it's broken i don't even know what my dc is i think my dc is i do this every week it, my shoes are it, broken i know i don't, I don't it, know why I don't have just use the it. use the ability it shows me what it is so i'll just tell you what it is when you use it okay okay it says it's zero that's why I'm, that's why i don't know it, it says it's zero to you. Yeah. Oh shit! It's doing no, no, no. Like use the actual ability. Like hit the hit the ability card. Well, that's what I'm saying. It 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 makes it zero. I don't I don't know how to fix it. And I think oh, it's, uh, why your other ability easy. tells me what it uh the right thing. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> okay, uh, it's my but... class DC, which I think is. I don't even know what it. I don't know where to find that. Um. On the bottom of the proficiency. The bottom oh, proficiency underneath your armor. Oh, so we twenty defenses. we twenty one dexterity saving throw a reflex save. Okay, so it's got to make a reflex twenty one. Yeah. All right, it is a mummy. Uh, it will try its best. Uh, reflex twenty one. It fails. Wonderful. So it takes leveled electricity damage, which isn't combined either. I think it's just, <laughs> okay. I, I think it's just uh, thirty twelve. I believe. Three D twelve? Okay. Yeah, that's what it says when I mouse over it. Yeah. Alright, so just click it, it should roll three D twelve. Those are some garbage okay. rolls, but fifteen. All right. it takes fifteen points of electrical damage. Okay. okay. It wasn't as big as the explosion I was hoping for, but you know. Anything else okay. from Jericho Darling? Oh, I have to roll to see if I explode. I'm still going. Oh. Oh okay. Yeah, let me um That's not like AoE explode though, right? No, this is a personal no, no, explode. No, no. Okay. It's, it's, it's a personal choice. Mm. I'll roll it. Uh, you can. That'll be my turn. I'll. I gotta find the macro for it. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Um, Kelly, uh, still trying to stabilize. Yep. All right. Let's see that roll, and then play with pass to Grom. Ooh. Okay. So things get worse over there for Kelly. No wait, Kelly rerolled. Things got. No wait, that's not a reroll from uh, Kelly. That's a flat check from Jericho. Sorry, okay. I succeeded. No worries, no worries. I feel like I'm one of those announcers for like a dog race. Uh, Grom, you're up. So Grom, you look out the door and you see the Hound of Tindalos, the claws of time. Its body undulating, orifices opening, and eyes and mouths crawling out of those orifices and across its body before sinking back into the flesh. Henry seems to be possessed of an otherworldly uh, desire to live, but you can see the shadow of death hanging over him. Yep. I can't do anything for Henry. I will try to shoot the hound. Oh my gosh. I could actually just put the death out here okay you see this guy just standing right ah. right by fucking behind him just watching him just ready just ready I mean, if you want to if you want to get this mummy instead who's going after you <laughs> i mean i'd be fine with that <laughs> all right grom what are you gonna do you gonna target the hound yeah, you're gonna I'll, I'll shoot the hound oh shit okay oh I hate the hound um I'll reload. And that's it for my turn. Okay. Um. Oof. All right. So you two were in the house. So you were good. Grom, ending your turn out here. You are ending your turn in the Hound's aura, I believe. Oh my god, I forgot about the aura. I also forgot about the aura. Yes, it's Ripping Gaze. Uh, which, uh, now that I think about it, Jericho, you would also yeah. be affected by this ripping gaze. Uh, so, here it is. You, you guys could just share the same one. Alright, you succeeded the same throw without needing to roll. Oh, damn! Good for you! Uh, but you gained drained one condition. Alright, uh, Jericho, you have failed. What's the, by what's, one. I succeeded the cost. Oh! I, I have 17 HP. It's gonna it's gonna knock me down if uh, if I take the full damage. Okay. Uh, let's see. Succeeded a cost. The worst one for this situation. Um, amazing miss stunned. Um, enlarged the enemy. That'd be wild. Um, wounded you become wounded, wounded makes sense. Yeah. yeah. All right. Wounded two. All right. 
Uh, all right, here's the damage. Oh, I think it might down me anyway. So that's going to be 26. This is a basic. So, Grom, your card says you succeed at the saving throw, um, but you would... Yeah, you would need to critically succeed to take no damage. Holy shit. All right. Good, good campaign, guys. Good game. We're still, yeah. we're still in it, okay? I, I feel <laughs> strongly about things. Uh, Henry, Henry gives his mummy the opportunity to surrender and leave. <laughs> <laughs> I got death on my side. You see, he's an ally. <laughs> is, he, is, he, is he listed as an ally? That's great. Uh, no, uh, I don't think so at all. But Oh, uh, okay. His stats are pretty nuts, I'm gonna be honest. The Grim Reaper stats is a tw he's a level twenty one monster. Like that's of course it exists. I was like I was just anyways. Um alright, the mummy is up. It's gonna do it's, it's gonna try to hit you, I guess. You're the only one nearby. I mean there's that clause of time there, but this is a crazed mummy. It's you're right in his face, you hit him. Here it comes. Uh it's gonna try to fist you. Oh. All right, here's damage. Three? Is that what you're at? Yeah, right yeah. I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna die. This oh is gonna God. happen. <laughs> All right, you need to make a fortitude saving throw. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, you succeed, so you don't get mummy rot. Um, it will try and fist you again. Oh fuck me. <laughs> Uh, Henry, Henry's four? dying, guys. Yeah. Is that Doom 4, though? <laughs> I'm at 4, but I have, um, Die Hard. You have Die Hard, right, right, right. You can get to- you Die Hard since you get to Doom 5, right? Yep. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um... Man. Alright. I mean, I feel like it would- I don't know what else it would do. It's just a dumb. Listen, it's I'm like right, a I'm dumb right down mummy. Over here, shouldn't lightning at it. You know? <laughs> no, it's dumb. It's just, it's just gonna attack Henry. It's fine. Mmm. Mm, yeah. All right. Here we go. It's just gonna do map. Ooh. Oof. Okay. D does it get unraveled? <laughs> does it get unraveled? Is that? You know what? I I actually wouldn't be surprised if a monster had something like that, but maybe it's a a, a shittier mummy. This is a mummy no, guardian. The, the, you know, from the claws of time. Does it get unraveled? Oh, it does. Oh, okay. I thought you meant literally. This is a mummy, and it rolled well, a critical miss. I thought no, maybe. Like delightful. Uh, oh, okay. I thought maybe there was an an ability for mummies where if they critically failed, they actually became. Because I again, I wouldn't put it past the designers. All right. Um, the mummy's like, wait a minute, that that DC is unreasonably high. I'm only a level five creature. I don't think that this is very fair. Um, it will try to roll. Uh, it has critically failed, Jesus. so it's going to take double. Oh my god! So it takes fifty points of slashing damage. Uh. Yikes. I should just kill it, you know? I think it'd be pretty funny. Oh, Dr. Rabazora points out the death has a misfortune aura, so we're all rolling worse than we should be. Oh, oh my bad. Sorry. <laughs> How bad is this misfortune aura? That's Let's so see. Funny. That's so funny. Well, I, I, was I just had him out here for fun, though. <laughs> yeah, I was um, rolling with disadvantage. <laughs> living creatures of the aura must roll twice on all d20 rolls and use the lower effect. Oh, wow. Okay. I am so sorry, guys. I had no fucking idea. Okay. First of all, that the Grim Reaper even existed, and secondly, that he would do that to you. Yeah. So I got a critical. Probably I'd have got a critical success on that mummy rod, actually. Yeah, you did. You <laughs> got a crit success on that. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Have you made any other rolls that we need to go back and check? I don't think so. I think I've okay. just been getting hit. Okay. Then that mummy. Let's be honest. That that level five mummy was rolling pretty good if he was rolling at disadvantage and everything. I don't know if the enemies were. It might be. I like don't know a, if it was. Oh, yet. oh, you don't know if it's affecting the enemies. Okay. Um. We'll then two d twenty kl. It'll say it on the roll. Oh, uh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, let's proceed. Then I will never randomly grab a monster <laughs> again. Um, I just thought it'd be a funny thing to have the Grim Reaper there after you. Anyways. For the memes, yeah, yeah. For the memes, bro. Uh, Jet. You are stable, I think. It says you're yeah. still dying one, so you should get, 
you should get rid of that dying one and so you can be stable. There you go. But you're just laying there waiting for someone to heal you. All right. Henry. You're uh, up. Okay. Hold on. I got to double. Uh, let me see here with this thing. Last stand. Uh, what is it? <laughs> when does it let until the start of your next turn? All right. So now I have no longer. <laughs> I'm <laughs> I'm still doomed for, but I'm no longer going to ta keep taking doom. <laughs> Finish him uh, off, Henry. <laughs> you're, uh, you're, you're a hero. Well, I feel like I need to kill this claws, obviously. Like, I the fuck this lumber. He's, a, he's a near death. Henry. Get... Yeah, well, uh, but Actually, yeah, the claws go right after. No, claws go right after right. me. You're right, because I can, I can really kill the mummy if you want to try to take out the claws. Good luck, right. though. I don't know if that'll work out, but I believe in you. <laughs> gonna... That's going to hit. <sighs> That's good damage. 25 damage. Now, one thing... You guys can see the health bars of these monsters, right? Oh, well, we can see it's the tag, like, bloody yeah. there near death. Oh, okay, okay. So one thing that you guys should have noticed is that this thing has not healed since you came into the dungeon. I have noticed, yeah. Okay. Yes. Now, admittedly, you haven't taken an especially long time to rest. Um, but, yeah. Uh, all right. It takes the damage. Uh, all right. Uh, then, I guess, this time, we will... Do the uh, you're gonna, you're uh dang, I should have. You're gonna uh, run away so you don't that. get unzipped on its turn, no, um, or on, at been, the end of your turn. Hmm, would it, would it have been fair to knock it down? <laughs> Actually, uh, knock down. I mean, if you're committed to that, are you, you have, like two? I also I hate to be the bearer of bad news, Henry, but I think you are. I think you are going to die very soon. <laughs> well, he wants to knock it down before he dies to yeah, limit yeah. its action economy a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're a hero for doing so if you do want to do that. Uh, uh, oh my gosh, you guys are making me run away. Fine, I will I run away. Run. Uh, run away. I don't actually don't think that I can run away now that I'm thinking about it. But... If you get up why, line why? Of do you have? Do you have? Do you have? Are you a giant? Are you not? You're not a giant barbarian, I, are you? I, I'm a giant barbarian. Oh my God, <laughs> Scottrick! Oh my God. So just hit it then. Just yeah. hit it. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna. Listen, we're just gonna, fine. We're just gonna keep attacking the thing until it dies. Yeah. All right. All right, fine. I... Now we're gonna use a hero point. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Okay, regular miss. Don't care. We're just in a map now. You guys want me to? There we go. We're gonna bend the other. Uh, we're gonna keep the last hero point. He's losing it. <laughs> He's losing it. <laughs> that uh, that's that's my turn. Uh, All right. <laughs> The creature, as as your turn ends in the aura, I need a fortitude save, DC 29, against this creature's unzipping aura. Oh, critical failure. That's terrible. I guess I'll just die. Oh, All right. Well, hang on. You can use your hero point to stabilize and uh, remove I, I, I know. Yeah, so we're good. Okay. Because now that your turn's back up, you can't get any more doomed, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So now uh... you actually just drop. So... So because you had Die Hard, you were able to use that that hero point card to live through all of that shit, get to Doomed Four, and then go down. Doom doesn't do anything bad to you when you when you drop or anything. No, no, basically, no, no, no. Do, I have four dying, but I'm using the hero point, so that way I still don't. So I'm short the one dying. Now. <laughs> okay, because I was gonna say, doesn't Doom doesn't Doomed inc like reduce yeah. your um. Your maximum uh, dying value well, or whatever. Last year, oh no, Doctor Robazora says I'm just dead. Yeah, because it's it, well, it your maximum dying value is reduced to zero. Um, well, this, well, I thought we I thought we clarified that when you go down, your dying value would increase, and you can use your hero point to stabilize before that happens, before it kills Doomed you. Doomed is a different monster. The, yeah, the doom it, removes your your dying. It, it, it gives you like less dying on it. So yeah, you'll, but uh, you'll die yeah, but I still have one, the wounded. But if you right. stabilize, you won't get your that dying level. Your soul has been gripped by a powerful force that calls you closer to death. Doomed always includes a value. The dying value at which you die is reduced by your doomed value. If your maximum dying value is reduced to zero, you instantly die. When you die, you're no longer doomed. Your doomed value decreases by one each time you get a full night's rest. Oh my god. So yeah. he's, he's not, um, he dies at dying one right now. And if he stabilizes before he can get to dying one with the hero point, he should well, be fine. Well, critical fail, you would have you would have died, you would have gotten two wounded on top uh, of the wounded you, yeah, you already had, right? 
Yeah, I'm, I'm he's dead. It's fine. I appreciate I'm, the I'm fight. Trying to, I'm trying to fight for him. I thought, <laughs> I'm just saying, because I thought that we established that if you use a hero point, you're dying, you stabilize before your dying increases. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Die hard. That's right. What yeah, do I have? Thank you, man. I am be, just terrible. It takes more, it takes more hits to kill you. You die from the dying condition at dying five rather than yeah. dying four. Okay. Yeah, Die Hard stopped doing four from killing, and then, but yeah, no, if I'm dead, I'm dead, it's fine. Hmm. <laughs> he will be dead if he didn't have Die Hard. Because he has Die Hard, he still has one dying left over that he can stabilize out of with the hero point usage. I mean, it. I think that makes sense, because we've done it before where if you go down, and then going down would cause you to gain... The value. Uh, oh oh no, that increases. no, that's for that's for wounded though. He would still hit dying from going down, Does and then stabilizing it, with the hero point not remove your dying. Not initially when you drop. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. All right. So doomed <sighs> is dying. His back. He dies at dying one. Right, yeah. and then he gets dying one from going down, and then that's that. Like, uh mm, Well, if that's gonna happen, I guess he should just should have used the uh, since he's got the he had oh. the hero point. He should have at least spent it on the fortitude save. Oh, then, wait, right? I want. I'm still arguing this. I got my book piece out. I'm a lawyer now. So this is this is the the wording for. Stabilizing. Okay, all right, all right. Chat, chat's saying re-roll because if you if you didn't go down to a critical, you'd be able to live. I think. Yeah, but I only have one he, hero he point. Would, so. He would die anyway. No, he would. He would oh, die. because it. Oh uh, no, no! It's the doomed effect. It's just killing you. Yeah, doomed, doomed just kills you outright because you're dying, plus the math of doomed, and then it just happens. Shit. All right. Okay. So here, All we're right. just going to reroll this hero point. Hope there's a critical success. No. <laughs> then he's going down and then he's dead. There All right. Go. Hold on. Fair is enough. That, is, that, is that within succeeding at a cost? <laughs> um. <laughs> not, not, not for critical. You only pass by one with a 30. Oh, yeah, that's right. Never mind. My bad. Yeah. Okay. All right. Then the Claws of Time no. has unzipped you. You guys watch in horror as Henry's uh, skin unravels. Uh, his muscles, musculature just, like, sprays out as, like, spaghetti. Uh, and then he just falls dead to the ground. But only Jericho witnesses it. It's all right. I mean, saw my friends die. <laughs> I've seen it before. Holy I mean, we're, we're all about to die. <laughs> yeah, this is not a great position for any of us to be in. Um, yeah, okay. Alright. The claws are up. Uh, it caught his head. It looks down at Henry. It looks over at Jericho. Uh, you watch as it blinks its many eyes and orifices at you. And then it turns and walks away. This is why I hate dogs. All right. Um, top of the round, Jericho. I crawl forward one space. Okay. Still on the ground, and I'm going to unstable action the mummy. All right. Uh, with a bolt. So it's going to be a, a DC 21 again. All right, DC 21 reflex saving throw. Here we go. Failure, so it's going to take uh, 4d12 again. Oh, 3d12, excuse me. 25 points of uh, lightning damage. All right. Uh, the creature is electrocuted and turns to dust. All right. Um, my friends are dying. I don't have any healing potions on me. Henry has a bunch. Well... Uh... 
Okay. Um, let's see. That's all my actions, actually. So that's my turn. All right. Kelly, uh, you're playing the mini game of not dying. You are at dying two, though. Unless you want to just hero point to stabilize. I'm not doing it unless I have to. All right, fair enough. Okay, All one right. success. Uh, Grom, to you. All right, Grom gets worse. Jet, uh, you're stable. And uh, the claws vanished from the initiative tracker. I guess you scared them off. It doesn't like the sight of so much blood. <laughs> Ew! Um, Jericho, top of round seven to you. Oh, shit. Uh, my friends, oh, no one's stabilized yet. Uh, Grandma's next to me. I'm still on the ground. So well, jet, any... jet stabilized. Uh... Kelly's at one, Grom is at two. Does Grom have any potions on him? None that heal. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. You do you do see across the room in the pile of spaghetti that is Henry Ironsides, there are uh, glistening with gore, uh, is his bandolier of potions. You're gonna make me loot through my best friend's corpse for potions. <laughs> I'm surprised he's not eating his bones, if I'm being honest. So, just saying. Henry, I mean, you're, you're, the, you're literally the only one up who can do I know, anything. So, I'm, I'm gonna have to get, get some moving. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, stand, I'm going to stand up with an action. Also, there are there are B team actions for stabilization. I just, I just, I'm really worried they fail and kill them by accident, is my worry. Ah. Uh, they're, they're just not good enough. Sorry, gang. Just don't, for stabilizing. don't tell Grom that Henry's dead. We'll just make him dying free. I, I loot. I loot Henry's body. Do you got healing potions like on you? Good yeah, I got three elixirs of life and a healing potion. Minor. All right. Yeah. I, so, I so someone stuff. someone messaged me earlier uh, this uh, sorry over the weekend, and then uh, asked me like, oh, what Pathfinder games are you running? And I said Outlaws of Alkastar, and this is what guitar guitar dude. Greg had to say, oh, dude, you got to watch out for that Hound of Tindalos. It's a TPK machine. Yeah. I mean, got one of us so far. Yeah, that's true. It's not a total party kill. Uh, uh, I hope that you don't in any way nerf this for the next people. I will not. I will not. It is all about equity. It is all about equity. I uh, hope they suffer as much <laughs> as I did. And my suffering was mainly in not being annoyed, not not being upset, just being annoyed by this thing. Uh, Jericho, you stand up, you run over, you grab Henry's potion. Yep, and I think Fan that's all my actions. To do all right, so, though. Kelly, stabilize yourself now. All right, auto stabilize the game. Do what? Oh, oh, no, that, that's the opposite of what we were trying to do. That puts you up at dying three. All right. Uh, Grom. All right, all right. Grom's down to one. Uh, Kelly's up to three. So, Jericho, as you grab the potion, you stand up, you, tr you, you turn around, mm -hmm. uh, you look over at Kelly. Kelly was doing good six seconds ago, and then you just see blood start... Like spraying out of his body. Um, Jet seems fine though. Okay. Um, who, has right. the, who has the lower, like the higher dying condition right now? Uh, Kelly. Kelly does. Okay. Yeah. I'll go back to him then. Uh, All right. One action stride. Second action uh -huh. administer. Dump that down his throat. Okay. Oh, I didn't actually pick up the items because they're still on Kelly's sheet. Oh, not I mean Henry's sheet. So. All right. Excuse me. I'll just roll in this elixir healing potion minor. There you go. He's back. <laughs> I I rolled for him. 
All right, there you go, Kelly. Um, and then I'm going to, after putting that in his mouth, I'm going to use my last action to stride over to ground. All right. As you stride, if you stride over to Grom, you can see Pepito pulling that um, Tobey Maguire Spider-Man with the train, where he's like got his little arms uh, trying just to hold um, Grom's uh, stomach wound open as the intestines are just trying to uh, spill forth. That's so many actions. I'm sorry. Yeah. All right, uh, Kelly, you are alive with seven hit points. You are prone. Grom is dying. And you see a pile of meat and bones uh, and a hammer. Also, the shattered remains of a sarcophagus and a dead electrocuted mummy. There is no sign of the Hound of Tindalos. Okay. I'll uh, crawl over to... Uh... Uh, doesn't like Grom. Do you have the battle um, medicine? They don't don't have, have he doesn't have that debuff, it doesn't look like. Even though he's closed the ring. All right, so I'll stand up, walk over, and battle heal. That must be the only one I don't have. Oh, shit, let me target him and do that again, sorry. I think that'll actually apply it to him. I'll reroll that. Okay. All right, so you uh, you run up, you drop a critical heal onto Grom. Uh, Grom, you you are up. All right, did I get hit points back or? Uh, forty eight. Let me get a forty. Twenty two hit points back. Uh, Grom will stand up. Okay. Stand up. What's going on? Uh, it doesn't look good. <laughs> run over to Henry. You run over to what's left of Henry, unzipped as he was by the creature's aura. Uh, it's a it's a mess. He'll try and like hold them together or something. Ooh, okay. There's a, you guys hear a squelching sound as uh he's just up to the up to the armpits in meat trying to like hold Henry's remains together. Well, Sean, uh, don't you have a healing post or something? I don't think that's gonna do it. If you guys would like, we can leave initiative. Yeah, I think, I think we can. I want to get um, Jet up, too. Uh, off in the distance, you guys hear the hound taunting you. Then I just choose to stay in initiative. Then at that point, <laughs> <laughs> that way I can constantly ready a gun. I think we should go to that curvy room. Yeah, yeah. Agreed. I mean, Droxel's a sweet hideout that he built, but yeah. he never he never got to finish, so he had to hide in one corner for all eternity. Yeah, that sounds like a good corner. Okay. I mean, there was already loot in this room, guys. <laughs> oh, rat. Um, well, I think the house dropped on the loot. Um, so I don't know if it's still there. Um, yeah. Does this does this thing have any loot? Are we trying to loot its body? 
Okay. So the body that you electrocuted is outfitted in an array of eerie jewelry and valuables resembling writhing eye-studded tentacles. Each twisted piece uh, is is a sacrilegious uh, defacement of a bryite um, holy symbol that has been warped uh, and changed to become something alien and profane. If you could find a collector for such pieces, they would sell for 300 gold. All right. Uh, Rom, if you want to take those, I feel like those might be your, your purview. I don't want any of that stuff right now. Uh, Grom, actually, take a hero point for for that, because the, you know, looking at this stuff, that the Temple of Bry will want nothing to do with such tainted relics. Nor do I. Fair enough. Um, oh, man. Oh. Jet's still unconscious. Oh, I, w- I would have went over and put a healing potion in him. I said I, I did, I just, I don't have the okay. extra item unless she... Alright, I'll... Roll it off of Henry. So, Jet, you would be healed uh, two hit points. Cool. Pick up my gun. I stand up. Well, see. Am I still despaired? Uh, no. I'm going to delete this mini so it stops creating that effect. There we go. I am, uh, I'm going to pick up Henry's body. Okay. How do I stand up? Oh, um, delete the little stairs off of your guy. Oh, it seems like you've just kind of rolled over a little bit. Hold on. There you go. Thanks. I don't feel good about it, but we need to make sure we grab the uh, bag of holding that you had. Yeah, well, I'm gonna just take his whole his whole body, and we can we can work it out back in the curve room. Rom has his hammer. All right, I'll pick up the bag. So no one takes the array of eerie jewelry resembling uh, writhing tentacles. No, I'm good. I'll take them. Okay. All right. Henry I'll died for those gold. <laughs> that gold or the silver for so you know. Might as well. No, it's just if anything, it's an intellectually like interesting piece. So. Yeah. There's a reason why investigators always fall to Cthulhu. <laughs> Oop, that's the wrong way. All right, you do notice that these beds, uh, or at least this bed right here, has a, there's a foot locker here. I don't know if you guys want to. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm going to the We all have a Deal sub 10 HP. <laughs> ah, I'm going okay. To all right, fair enough. <laughs> if you get left behind, you get left behind. Goddamn. Yeah. All right. I'm going to the room. All right. I'll just I'll put Henry's body down on the uh, the, the the makeshift bed that Jarxalos made. No, okay. you'll put him over here. <laughs> over there. You will Drop put him over team. here where the door cannot be seen, uh, oh, where there right. is no corner. <laughs> well, there's no corners in here in general. Oh, you mean on the corners on the thing? Okay. There is not he, 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 he said he died here before he could finish the the room. All right, I'll just plop Henry then over there. All right, um, let's do a temperature check. Uh, how we all feeling emotionally? I know physically everything's awful. How did it get this bad? 
Why didn't we deal with the hound before moving forward? Well, the hound is incredibly difficult to pin down, uh, as we have seen. And then I had a house dropped on me, so that wasn't great either. Um, so when, did, when did the Tarkarkus come into play? Admittedly, Henry and I thought there'd be something shiny in there. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> so, but we did check with everyone before we opened it, so I don't think it's anyone's fault. <laughs> That's fair. It's That's just... fair. <laughs> but check with everyone you meant. As soon as somebody said, well, let's do both, you ran and opened it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, you, de you definitely did both. We definitely did both. Um, well, if you both did it, yeah. then you both did it. And you did get a free house out of it. I did get a free house out of it. Yep. Yep. I'm, uh, I'm gonna take fun. Let's slip in this corner, and uh, if nothing's gonna stop me, I'm gonna take a rest. Oh man, uh -huh. how are we gonna how are we gonna break the news to his nephew? Oof. That's a problem for later. Should we like? Bring Henry back with us? Do we know One any necromancers that I could bring him back with a skeleton? Has he considered this? Hey, 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 we're here and messing with fucking time, right? Maybe he also wanted those away. Right? That's but not let's, a bad idea. Let's, uh, let's worry about that later. Problem's right. ears. He sort of looks up. He's like sitting there with his head between his legs. All of a sudden, you hear somebody saying about Kosawana in time, and he's like, we could go back in time and save Henry. Aww. I think we should. We won't know we can do until that. we get there. We've already fighting one time cop. Let's, we can fight some other ones. We can do it. Vashon, do, Va right? Vashon and Gallaby says, whoa, 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 whoa. Remember the whole reason that we're even coming here is to find Kosawana before he does something crazy. Yeah, but now Henry's dead. It's yep. only a little while back in time, though. It'll be fine. All right, but put all the context clues together, all right? These, this whole place is mm -hmm. fucked, all right? Yeah. These, pe these people got misled and lost their minds. Mm -hmm. Now, I didn't I didn't roll a good recall knowledge check. I don't know what was going on with all them tentacles and them eyeballs in that room, but it don't feel right to me. I think whatever they was worshiping here, it wasn't Bry no more. So you just want to leave Henry dead and possibly get him back with evil magic? You know what I mean? There ain't nobody going to be willing to cast no kind of resurrection spell in, in Alkenstar, but I mean, if you left the waste, you might be able to find somebody, but his body's in terrible shape. Yeah, so we'll time. go back in time. Yeah. <laughs> you know it's not the right answer. I mean, what is the right answer then? Our friend is dead. Yes, our friend is dead. And knowing what we know about what came through the last time somebody messed with time, I mean, we still haven't killed that damn hound. And he's one of the lesser things that come through time. You imagine uh, what else might come through? I'd do it for Henry. May not succeed. But... Would Henry want you to be doing it, though? No, I don't. I don't think so. Grom's gonna try and rest. Yeah. Believe me, I wish it was a simple answer like that, but everything's got consequences that we don't even know. <sighs> Otherwise, time magic would be a bigger thing, you know? Well, none of you folks go up and die then. 
Because I'm quite frankly very sick of it. Getting tiring. I'll try my best not to. All right. You're now my honorary brother because Henry is now dead. Kelly, congratulations. Good luck. So we pop <laughs> looks, uh, looks down at Henry's remains and then he says, uh, if I had feelings, I would be very sad. But robots can't have feelings. Sweet, you up. feel sad? I... I... I miss Henry, and I wish this hadn't happened. Well, it sounds like you feel sad. That's not allowed. A lot of things aren't allowed. Kosawana said robots can't have feelings. People think you're not allowed to cast magic in Alkenstar. People cast magic in Alkenstar. Sweet Bob, I think you're a lot more than just a robot. Even if you didn't realize it. You're more human-like than some humans I know. How long do you guys want to rest in this chamber where the claws of time dare not go? How long are you allowed to rest? <laughs> I think we have the long rest. Okay, fair enough. We'll attempt the long rest. Haley, do you think okay. uh, do you think Harry would be okay coming back as a skeleton? Just kind of just curious. I know a necromancer, right? He did a pretty good job with me. I can, can send him a letter. I mean, did you come back by your own choice? Or did you just come back? Well, mm. there may have been some persuasion via necromancy magic, but... I mean, so in the end, it would still be up to Henry's choice. Yeah, yeah. If he but... comes back. Yeah, then that's great. If he could choose if he wants to come back or not. I really don't think that's actually how it works, but... <laughs> mm. <laughs> he, can, he can choose if he wants to come back, you know? I, uh, I have done. I don't know. I'm just basing it off of 5e knowledge that usually if you want to be resurrected that I'll listen. soul's got to be willing. As a skeleton, it's got to be willing. As a skeleton myself, let me tell you, being resurrected as a skeleton it's, it's not great. You lose like half your mind and half your memories and have to make new ones and then the people you make memories with end up dying anyway and it really sucks. Sounds, it sounds like you wouldn't be Henry anymore then. No, they're probably too different. But it is an option. Yeah. Well, I think we should probably leave it up to his nephew to decide. Right. This is next to Ken, right? I guess so. Yeah, because his brother's dead. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll start writing a letter to my brother and ask if he is willing to go make resurrection nonsense. If his nephew agrees to it. Mm. So it's a good idea. It is one fifty in the afternoon. You guys well, at least last time you, you checked. You guys can um take as much time as you need. As Droxelos showed you, you can stay in this room forever if you'd like. As long as you stay tucked in that corner. Yeah, I think we're just gonna try to do the eight hours so we can get the re regents and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. With your training as a medic, you should be able to remove wounded from everyone and heal everyone up to full within like an hour or two. So yeah. we'll go ahead and just advance the clock. There's a card in eight. my inventory. Eight hours. During that time, I'm assuming some of you may try to sleep. Um, yeah. The alien nature of this room and your knowledge of what the people did here in this uh in this compound uh will result in very haunting dreams they will not affect you mechanically uh but they are very unpleasant uh, upon waking uh anyone who needs to do their daily preparations can do so not can i invest in this this magic item that's on my character sheet? Is it allowed? 
Uh, yeah, so during the rest, you would notice something in your belonging, or in your your bag that was not there hours before. Can I make an arcana yeah. check on it? Or a, uh, it yeah, promise? sure. Mm, okay, I'll make an arcana check. You are not sure when you picked this up. I'm still stupefied. Oh, we have to roll for manor fever. That is correct. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, I couldn't have treated a uh, disease um, last night because I was fatigued. Yeah. Not fatigued anymore now. That's, think, that's good. I, I think it's just me and Grom who have it. Okay. DC 24 um, saving throws. Okay, Grom, yours would start to advance. Uh, Jericho, yours, you were only at stage one, right? I, I don't remember, unfortunately. I think, yeah, I think you're only at stage one. So okay. you would recover from the mana fever. Okay. So I'm no longer stupefied. Yes. Um, but Grom, unless you want to re roll, because we are getting close to the end of the session. Sure. I don't know if you, I don't know if you have any more here. Well, you just got a hero point, right? I got that one. Yeah. Okay. Hey, nice. All right, so one less thing to worry about. Oof. I'm going to really miss not having a fighter. <laughs> All right, with that Arcana check, you're not exactly sure what you're what you're looking at here, um, but you could you know that it's something you could invest into. Oh. Well, there's a lot of cursed items, so I'm gonna give it to Kelly. Um, oh, see okay. If you can uh, do any fun little recall knowledge checks on it. All right. Are you just dragging it from your sheet to his? Oh, sure, I can do that. With the magic of, is it showing up as unidentified? It's not. I'm pretending oh. it is though for the. Oh, oh okay. I, I can make it. Uh, I can mystify it. There you go. Oh yeah, mine is unusual object, so I don't know. Okay. So when you have it as an unusual object, I can click this identify button and then post skill checks to the thing. Oh my god. Is the stupefied from the disease go away? Uh whatever this is, um, Whatever magical nature it has, you're not 100 percent sure, but you do know that it is um, it is a card. It is a harrow card uh, depicting a uh, manly man. Uh, you know that it it veritably thrums with power, Kelly. But you don't know what it does. Hmm. Could but I it, it depicts what looks like a like a hill giant, like just beating the shit out of a dragon. I mean, do you think it's evil? That's Not the main. Bad. That's the main thing. Not bad. And you see the cabin that just appeared uh, in the background. The <laughs> cabin from the room there that landed is. on Jericho. <laughs> Incredible. Hmm. <laughs> May- maybe maybe when that, when that cabin appeared, the card fell into your pocket. I don't know. Or it's just a coincidence. Um, let's see if this is a magic item I can activate. Um, the magic item, uh, can be invested in, investing in it would tell you more about it, but if it is cursed in any way, you would then be cursed by the item. Why not? You got nothing to lose, right? Go for it, homie. All right. As you, as you attempt to invest in the item, 
uh, you find that you cannot. Okay. Fancy card you got. Firewood. Yeah. Seems like meant to be attuned to, but I don't know how. Well, seems like it's evil magic shit, so it's going to go in the bag of holding. All right, throw okay. in the bag of holding. Who's got the bag of holding now? I do. All right. So I, I should drag all this off a of Henry sheet. It sounds pretty morbid, but here, I'm just going to give you guys access to Henry, and then you guys can di divvy it up as you need to. Okay. Fade to black as the four of you explore Henry's spacious pouch. All right. What now? Uh, get ready to get out of this room while readying actions. Okay. <laughs> because I'm going into the initiative as soon as I step out of this room. <laughs> I will no longer be moving through this. Now, I will Please. say this. You have noticed, like, let's go full meta. You have noticed that when you are readying actions uh, and and being prepared for it, the creature does not attack. So, meeting you halfway, if you would like to travel back to back, guns drawn, weapons ready, slowly making your way through the dungeons... Uh, through the dungeon, yes, we can do that. Um, there is no, like, readying attacks outside of combat, but we could say that you have been dealing with this thing long enough. As long as you don't break your formation of essentially being back-to-back, -back, no one is getting isolated, and you, no one's going down blind corners or dark alleys by themselves, it will not it will not trigger an attack. Now, if you're trying to lure it out, that's a different situation, and you can definitely try to do that. Um, so, how do you how do you want to proceed? Do you want to send someone out as bait, and then try to jump it, or do you just want to protect yourselves against it as you continue to explore? Uh, looking at the layout, and remembering the layout, yeah. I'm pretty sure you're just about to do a big loop. So the only place to really probably, like, explore at this point is... That very spooky, squeezing passage in the floor? Yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. that's feeling like that's the only thing left, because I'm thinking that we're just about to make a big loop. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm okay with going to the, the passage. Now, the creature <laughs> is... Uh, you know, the size of, like a Great Dane, so it's a medium creature. And if you guys as medium creatures are having to, you know, uh, kind of squish and squeeze to get through that passage, obviously that creature would have to as well. So if it did try to follow you into that passage, it would be subject to those same restrictions. However, it would also just be unzipping you guys um, passively. Yeah. So if you want to risk it, you certainly can. I think we should try and kill it before we go in that tunnel. Yeah, yeah I'm down with it. Um, yeah. It doesn't like this room. I don't know the way to lure it into this room. I, I want to lure it into this room. I mean, we could try to. I don't know. We gotta. We could try to shove it somewhere, but that requires us to try to get to stand still. Oh, during our long rest there, is it possible Grom could have? I don't know, look through the, the book he has. Uh, what's it called again here? The Restricted Logic of Design. Mm -hmm. And see if there's anything in there about this, the Clause of Time. Is that mentioned in there? Uh, certainly. Now that you kind of have a better idea of what you are looking for, uh, you can. Uh, it's give me, a, give me a read up on it. See if you can find out what yeah. we might be able to do to get it to follow us somewhere. Yeah. So give me a, give me a fresh recall knowledge. 
um, with a with a rested mind. Okay, holy shit. So, um, much to your vexation, the creature is not mentioned in these texts. However, using what you have learned so far, uh, racking your brain with your many uh, trainings in the arcane and the occult, um, and just in general trying to piece together this information, also rolling really well, um, you... You recall more about this particular type of creature, this this hound of Tindalos, uh, these outer gods, and and what they are about. You understand that this creature is possessed of an alien mind. It is a being of time from the realm of time, uh, but it is also full and truly evil like killing you guys is not enough you understand that it is going to try and drive you insane it is going to try and put you guys into the most desperate state um until you are as insane and deranged as the people here um, so that when you die, your spirit cannot rest, cannot move on, and maybe you rise again as a tormented soul, unable to let go of the fear or the confusion that this creature made you feel. So this creature, it does not feed in the manner of a material planar creature. It, uh, it feeds on that, uh the breaking down of your minds. Psycho pup, gotcha. It has been sent to punish. It has been sent to torment. And um, that is what it's going to do. Uh, it is going to look for opportunities to catch you alone and afraid, injure you so that the others will come for you, um, kill you one at a time, slowly over time, uh, until you're just completely broken. Uh, you may also ask two mechanical questions about the creature. Hmm. I think we asked this before. I don't remember. I know one that you guys keep talking about is how the fuck does this teleporting work? <laughs> so that might be one that you might want to ask. Alright, oh, Because, again, I mean, you got the nat 20, so you might as well do something with it. You know what I'm saying? Sure, how does it teleport? Alright. So, how its teleportation works is it has something called angled entry. Um, at will, it can cast a fourth uh, level dimension door, uh, which uh, says you instantly teleport yourself and any items you're wearing and holding from your current space to an unoccupied, unoccupied space within range uh you can see uh if this would bring another creature with you even if you're herring uh carrying it into an extra container the spell is lost um and then uh let's see uh it must transport into a space that is adjacent uh to an angle of 90 degrees or more uh, in the structure or environment around it. This means the hound can use Dimension Door to appear adjacent to any wall or corner in the Cradle of Quartz, uh, except for certain areas. You also know that the creature is capable of using this ability to plane shift uh, back to its home at any time. So it's not trapped here. It has decided to stay here uh, to continue to spread anguish and torment what this means is that wherever it's been teleporting to it is teleporting to places where it can still see um what's going on uh further dimension door normally takes uh two actions it can do this for uh a single action well it's attacking us from teleporting in it has to be able to see us to do that is that what you said 
Uh, you believe so. That's what a Hound of Tindalos has to do. Uh, it also has this ability, Invisibility uh, at Will, um, which you can just keep using uh, as, as needed. But... Uh, the other spells that it was using, it wouldn't have, it would need to rest to get them back just like any uh, innate caster. But having had time, you anticipate that it's going to have access to its its slow uh, slow spell that you saw it cast, its agonizing despair will be back, that, that sort of thing. So, taking all this into account, the probably the best place to try to jump it would be in this back hallway. Um, if you had somebody attract the creature and the others were hiding nearby, they could try and jump out, blast the creature. One thing that you are noticing is that the creature does not seem to be recovering from its wounds. Uh, you believe it can only recover from its wounds if it returns to the dimension, uh, of time. Uh, which means you may not have to beat it. You might just have to injure it so much that it cannot afford to stay. Uh, you, the, the creature, once it returns, you think it will be gone. Okay. Yeah. Did, ground, did ground find out how it can see? Uh, let's see. The creature, like how it's seeing you guys throughout the dungeon? Yeah. So, um, you do believe that this particular creature is an advanced specimen of the, of the Hound of Tindalos. So, it's angled entry, it likely has been here so long that it just knows the layout of this place, and it is not restricted by the visual elements of the dimension door. If it if it were, you would be able to see where it's like where it's teleporting away to, especially in these uh, large open spaces or these like long hallways. All right, that's probably both of my questions. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I suppose so. And then of course you confirm the whole vulnerability to curve space. Um, so if it is not adjacent to a structural angle of 90 degrees or more, um, its uh, resistance to physical damage is depressed and becomes sickened. Uh, one, it can't recover from the sickened condition. Uh, condition ends automatically uh, if it is, again, adjacent to a suitable angle. So large open room, like the entry hall, You'll notice, uh, or you might remember, that the Sphinx was there, and the Sphinx seemed to be fine, but the Sphinx was also staying in the very center of the room. And then thinking about it, that room with the sarcophagus, at least before the house was there, there was like a thin strip uh, right in the center of the room that would have been far enough away from all the walls that um, if the creature was forced into one of those spaces or standing in those spaces, it would be affected by that as well. All right, so what's the plan, folks? Or shoot it, kill it. But also uh, go to bed now. Oh, yeah, we are at time, though. <laughs> We're at time. All right, so um, we will end here. Next week, uh, we will continue, and if Scottrick has uh, a new character in mind, um, we will wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey have that character uh, enter the session. Um, if they just want to play one of the B-team characters until such a time as they, they have an idea for a character that can enter the story, we could do that, but I'm going to talk to them about what, what their options are. Um, moving forward um yeah all right so with that uh we will adjourn um quick announcements uh next uh, tomorrow night is session zero of strength of thousands and then there is um i'm doing some kingmaker prep tomorrow night and uh i think everything else is just regular schedule
Does anybody else have any announcements before we adjourn? No, they're good. Okay. All right. I think so. Okay. Then we will end the session for now. And I'll see you guys next week. See ya. Thanks for running. Have a good one, everyone. Yeah, see you, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.